Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Smoke on the wall. <laughs> this was a great way to start the stream. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, I was thinking, um, our uh, uh, Danganronpa version of Agatha all along. Who's been messing up everything? It's been Monokuma all along. <laughs> mm. Only problem is, is I like Agatha. Uh, <laughs> the so... is a good villain, but he, he's a very hateable one in all the right ways. <laughs> Monokuma, I even killed Junko too. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Man, we got. This I'm is excited. A, this is some energy we got going on today. Um, I'm just making sure the stream's mm -hmm. going on long or right. It should be. <laughs> Sorry, I've got music going. That's alright. Sorry, I've got music going. Oh, I you can go? hear me! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. I hope I'm not too yeah. loud and overpowering today. It looks like it's running okay from my end. Yeah, I think it was just taking a minute to um get going. Yeah, it does take a minute for it to stream on all platforms, I found that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Hey! Dang and Vompa, eh? Oh, uh, those dang Roombas. Those dang Vompas. I don't know what that means, and I don't think I want to know. Oh, like a Roomba is like those little, like, those little vacuum cleaners? No, I mean in the no. title, what the title Dang and Vompa means. Oh, neither do I actually. Hang on, let me Google it. Oh, dear. It could be a spoiler. Uh, I don't think it is. But it could be. Anything's a spoiler. My goodness. Danganronpa Wait. translates to bullet refutation. Hmm. So it's basically because like you shoot the points down in the trials. Ah. Oh. So Danganronpa means bullet refutation. That is such a boring name in English. <laughs> I'm so glad it's in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Danganronpa sounds so cool. It does, especially in the song where it's like Danganronpa. Oh, we'll see English Danganronpa. Trans what, was, what was the English version, translation again? Uh, bullet rebuttal or something like that. Bullet rebuttal. Fucking... <laughs> 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 yeah, pretty much. Such a <laughs> fucking name. I like I like the energy we got going so far. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I haven't told you this, but I went to bed at six o'clock last night. Wait. Oh, really? Oh, wow. In the AM hours. <laughs> oh, oh, fair enough. I mean, I've been up since half four, so. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> I think we're both running on tired energy. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, Charles, let me know about the volume levels. Uh, okay, please be be chill. Okay, thank you, Vompa. We're here. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> we so here's a little recap of where we are up to. Um, um, can you give me Chihiro's last name quickly? Fujisaki. Chihiro. Fujisaki. 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 Okay, so. Jihiro Fugisaki was fucking murdered! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we've literally... Well, we haven't literally found the body. We found the body, we did a little bit of investigating, and then we ended the stream. And, yeah, um, we've been bonding with all our favourite characters. We've been bonding with Aoi. We've been bonding with uh, Taka and Taka, Mondo. Mondo. Tioko. Tioko? That's not our name. Tioko Kirigiri, yes it is. Oh yeah, Tioko... Tio... Kyoko. Look, I've established do, do, the amount of sleep do, I've had do, today, do, so... Do, do, do. Sorry, I've got a lot of energy. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, um, and Chihiro, but she dead now. Rick. She dead now. Ooh, she dead. That fucking sucks, not gonna lie. But hey... Yeah. It's time to investigate. I think. I mean, I, I... sorry, go on. 
Oh, I was going to say, so far we've only really checked the um the murder scene in the gym where she was killed and uh nothing more to it. And oh, Toko had a weird moment as well. Yeah, which... Toko was being kind of weird. I'm sure that's going to... I'm sure it's all going to be explained in this uh, fantastic stream. Because we always have... Fantastic! Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic! Also, every time you say that, it reminds me of the bit in our World's End where O-Man is showing the people around the house and he's like, fantastic aspects. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, uh, Biz has warned me this is going to be emotionally damaging to my psyche. So, And there's some very touchy subjects in this trial that you... Yes. I mean, you can have an opinion on one of them, but one of them is like, oof. <laughs> I don't think I have an opinion on either of them, to be honest. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, sure. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's uh, tell go. me what the f the text shows up for you. Right, I haven't even loaded the game yet. Oh, I've had the game loaded up for like ten okay, minutes. Okay, here's the Come text on. we got: recycling bin, Microsoft Edge. Dropbox, <laughs> Steam, Team Fortress 2. I'll stop. Trump bot? Uh, Dropbox. Dropbox? I thought you said Trump bot. Trump bots? I thought he was banned. Oh no, I've. Trump bots. Those are like Twitter bots that are always like. Donald Trump, he's an angel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. It reminds me of that TikTok that's going around. It's like. If you can say Biden, if you can say Pelosi, if you can say Clinton, and you can say Trump. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I got a lot of energy. That's alright. <laughs> oh boy, the music. Oh, it's loud. <laughs> alright, just what for the game today. That's the wrong one. Monokuma retweeted my tweet. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? There's a Twitter account called Monokuma Poo Hoo Hoo. And I'll start retweeting your streams of my game just because I'm a nice bear. And he's retweeted your post and he's retweeted my post. Oh no. That's a bit sad. <laughs> <laughs> a bit sad. I wouldn't check the profile if I was you because it probably got spoilers. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. So I'm just adjusting the volume. No, you're okay. Sorry. I've got a lot of energy. I'm like, yeah! That's right. <laughs> Oh, boy. Here we are. Um, we can stop it here. Sorry. I'm jamming out. <laughs> and here we got uh, Mikolo and Celeste. Oh, boy. Oh, Wait, what? Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm saying oh, on the menu, the I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go in. Also, maybe check this. You might want to check this call quickly. Okay. I think I know what it's about, but okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I didn't know. It's alright. Let's uh, fucking go. Oh yeah, let's let's touch a dead body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm on Biakia saying, figure out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? That's what I am on too. Right. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. Fantastic. <clears throat> get my <laughs> get my voice acting lungs are going. That's alright. Hey, oh my webcam's <sighs> not on. Oh, Jonesy! Ow. 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 <laughs> I'll put that on quick. People want to look at my face, probably. People want to see you get jump scared by Monokuma. Yeah! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Alright, let's, um... I'm gonna look... I don't, I don't know why, but my first instinct is to look at the flurry things, even though they're gonna be no use to us. Okay, what, well, are they finished anyway. talking, then? Yeah. Okay. Let's look at the floaty things. There are a bunch of different pool related items on the shelf, which have nothing to do with the case. <laughs> <laughs> I've also, I, I'm also going to say for the second game, I've already decided for the protagonist, I'm not going to do a voice. 
I'm gonna let oh. myself do my own voice. Oh, fair enough. Oh, you um, can play, play them, whoever they are. I can play Hajime if you want. I don't mind. Actually, uh, no, I think it's better if you're the protagonist. Yeah, I mean, these, I am the protagonist of life. Yeah. You know? of, 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 this is your first time, so I think you being the protagonist is a better choice. Yeah. I already I know who I'm playing when we play Danganronpa 2. <laughs> <laughs> You've already got to cast this down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's uh, look at the door. Which the one? The door. Hmm. Oh. You've already spent plenty of time checking the crime scene. There are plenty of other things left to check here. Other door? Alright. Yeah, let's check the other door. Let's see if anything is hmm. useful. That's not even the scene of the crime, idiot. <laughs> okay, we are here. <laughs> But what should we click then? No, I think the gun might be a good look. A gun? Maybe this gun was used to. No, impossible. If that were true, Jahira would be riddled with holes. Actually, I'm, I'm going to look at the card reader next to the girl's bathroom. Okay. If I remember right, this card reader is meant to work without with our handbooks, right? What? Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it out with Monokuma. He said that, then quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Did you call for me? What he said. Has he been domesticated? That's right. <laughs> it seems that Makoto has a question for you. You need something? Sure! What's up? Um, well, it's about this car reader. Yep. Yes, the card reader have all been designed to interface with each of your e handbooks. You can only enter the locker room co corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. And it's impossible for two people in a row to go through, to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? Unbelievable. If there was some sort of <laughs> erotic terrorist on the prowl, the ceiling mounted gathering gun would initiate a swift cheese slaughter. Hmm. And the school regulations prohibit anyone from lend lending someone else the handbook, correct? Of course! Correctly correct! So then, that means the on only girls can get into the girls' locker room and only boys can get into the boys' locker room. In other words, Jehovah's body being found in the girls' locker room means. Hey, Makoto, I can see right through you. See right through me? <laughs> Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since Chihiro was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. So in other words... As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get that right? Such Good enough. lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Is he wrong, though? Is he wrong? <laughs> am I wrong? <laughs> You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. Ah, legal loopholes. <laughs> legal loopholes. <laughs> I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of the noble Tugami family. So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations! Hmm. Knowing you, I would bet I would bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? Add a little bit more to that uh, to add a little more excitement to things. Yeah You're treating me like a purely little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then Kumra is a whole ass snack. He is a whole <laughs> ass snack. <laughs> Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things! Yeah. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. This thing is a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it, so, uh... Who are you? So sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Biaki, Alan. Get your poop together. <laughs> oh, else I'll charge you with criminal neg negligence. Nailed it. No <laughs> questions. 
figure out the rest of your own damn self. That's fine. Well, I know you're unfortunately lacking in the mental facilities, so I'll fill you in myself. My God. Let's head to the main hall. My God, the main hall? <laughs> That'll help you understand what's going on. Can't read us without to the truth bullets. <laughs> we came to the main hall. So, what so... are we looking for here? Does that mean <laughs> I have to figure it out for myself? I Please. love him so much. He doesn't want to yeah. give me any... I guess well, for my... gameplay, but I just love the attitude of these people. <laughs> My um my view towards the Arkia is like that bit in Scott Pilgrim where Wallace answers the phone to Gideon and he's like, "Wow, what a perfect asshole!" <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking at? Um, hmm. I'm gonna look at the big door. The big door. The hunk of metal block in the entrance seems like some kind of machine. Okay, how about the gun? The gun. Surveillance camera. And, it, and there's what I can only assume is a gun attached to it. It's so chilling. Right. Uh, probably look at these files over to the right. Mm -hmm. There's a mailbox here. Could there be something inside? It's an e-handbook. No, wait. There's three of them. But what are they doing here? <laughs> so, you finally found them. Huh? Did you know these were here, Biakia? <laughs> I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. Seems there's a system in place where the handbook of dead students gets delivered to this mailbox. So then, these hand three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Sayaka. <laughs> you can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I immediately turned on one of the handbooks, and when I did... Oh boy. You're right, this is Psyche's handbook. <laughs> now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. You, you should play... Cr da, 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 da. Sorry, I'm getting to it. <clears throat> That's alright. You should play closer attention to the regulations. The answers have been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. I see. Yeah. Now I understand. Alright. What? Hmm. Hold on a second. What's wrong? Very strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Whose is it? The other hand... Oh, it, that's me, sorry. The other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. Then the one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? I see. It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get plummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Plummeled with baseballs? The memory of it came flooding back. That cruel, that cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind conducted. The cruel, heartless death. Man. I can't read what... I, well, I don't watch that scene on like YouTube, so I haven't been spoiled. But I do... When I re-watch old streams. Not fully, but I have revisited that scene. And it's fucking brutal. Yeah, Leon's one is really brutal, and I think it's because it's the first that's even more brutal. Hmm. Yeah, especially with how e like fucked up creative it is, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like saw trap level shit. Oh, Jonesy, just you wait. Oh, fuck. You're right. It wouldn't be surprising for the handbook to break during that kind of assault. Damn it! Hey, hey, I must say, I don't think we're getting any more um, jump scares. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Hey! But what? That e-handbook is essential to student life here. 
crucial, integral, instrumental, a super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily. But it did. If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. It can withstand with up to 10,000 tons of pressure. And it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit with it, it won't do crap. But uh, even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. It does? I can't hear you. But it's a secret. You wouldn't want to go breaking any more handbooks what? now, do you? Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, right? Hmm. Hmm. Hard to say. You know what I think? I think this handbook isn't actually broken. Well, what? But you might ask, how could that be? <laughs> Leaving the question hanging in the air, Manakuma disappeared. What just happened? Well, Akuma said it's not broken. It's undeniable fact it's not turning on. That's fine. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. Broken E handbook has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. <laughs> okay, then. This should be enough to get things rolling. Uh, let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chiero. Hmm. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite. Let's talk to him. Alright, let's have a little chat. What do you mean by that, Biakia? To be exact, not quite. Certainly I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely. I want to discover the true identity of murderous Jack. Then, you really think? You truly believe that murderous Jack is the one that killed your hero? Don't make me repeat myself. Absolutely. I have not absolutely no doubt that murderous Jack is the culprit in this case. I'm reacting to that. The murderous fiend is murderous Jack, right? What? There's nobody else it could be. A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Murderous... Oh, she, sorry. <laughs> murderous Jack. They say he's killed thousands of people, but that's gotta be an urban legend. Still, could one of us really be demented, psychotic, a demented psychotic killer like that? <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder. The words mean little, mean little right now. <laughs> There's something that will prove it, and I can show you. You talk to him again? Yeah. You can't, you can't just see what's hanging like that. What do you mean by that, Biakia? To be exact, not quite. <laughs> Certainly, I want to reveal Chihiro's killer. But more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Murderous Isn't this Jack. The same thing we yeah, just... I think it's going to give you another thing to react to, though. Oh, okay. Uh, shall we skip her along until something changes? Yeah. Don't make. Yeah, there's something myself. else to react to. Alright. And I have, and I have a basis to believe that. I assure you, Murderous Jack is one of us. Okay. Alright, let's react to basis. Is there really proof? <laughs> There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will prove all the evidence you need. It's all clear. Evidence that murderous Jack is the one that killed your hero. Okay. Evidence? Does something like that really... Ah, hey, you two. Big, big <gasps> trouble. Need your help. I don't have time. Uh-oh. We're busy. Leave us alone. I mean... But it's an emergency. An emergency. Come on, please, you gotta help me! Talk to Aoi! Talk to Aoi. Please! This is a serious emergency! Please, please, you gotta help me! Just calm down, okay, Hina? I mean... But... But it's an emergency! Oh, I'm reacting to that. An emergency? Huh? What happened? No. Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. 
Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? What should we do, Biakia? Very strange. Yeah. Since it's Toko, I must admit, I'm intrigued. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. What he said. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I for sure he'd just say no, and that'd be the end of it. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on, hurry! Well, wait for us, Hina! Let's go. It looks like she's headed to the dorms, to Toko's room, most likely. You're right! What's going on with Toko? Uh, let's, I'm heading straight to her room. Okay. Um... Right. I've already clicked Is... the door, by the way. Yeah. Is Toko inside? Some kind of emergency? Oh, I better... Uh, I'm going to talk to Aoi first. Okay. You guys are too slow! I think you're just too fast. Hmm. So, what's this emergency? So, um... Well, after what happened with the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she could lay down. After a while, we came back to check on her, you know, and see how she was doing, but when we did, hmm. it was weird. She refused to come out kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff? That's fine. We should try talking to her ourselves. Y yeah, good idea. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Hmm. Hurry up and do it. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> okay. I think we got the point. Mm -hmm. I may as well give it a shot. The door swung Ding open, bong. slowly and silently. Ha holy crap! N an aura of negativity flowed down from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that uh, Hina was really worried about you, holding yourself up in your room. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? You won't allow it. Huh? I won't let Genocide Jack have control. Just like that, she slammed the door in my face. What was that? Mm. She's been acting like that the whole time. And I rang a little while ago. I'll drive out the killer to drive out the murderous fiend. Um. It doesn't make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down her door. But it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even badge it. Toka was scared enough to even bar her door? Does she think the same thing as Biakia? Does she think that the serial killer murderous Jack really murdered your hero? Is that why Toko's so scared? But... Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? I think, I think we know someone! <laughs> I think Biakia. Biakia to the rescue. Hey Biakia, you think you could op you could ask her to come out of a room? I mean, that's fine. Sure, whatever. Huh? huh? You're really gonna talk to her, Biakia? Well, I guess you can be nice when you want to. Biakia like will that. remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Biakia stood in front of her door, not making a sound, and pressed the doorbell. After a few moments. What do you want? Leave me alone. You're so annoying. Ah, ah my cool. <laughs> it's Biakia. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't keep our promise. <laughs> Don't worry. Never again. I won't let murderous Jack have control ever again. And with that, the door slammed shut. Hmm. Even Biakia couldn't pull it off. Hmm. 
There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. H hold on! Hey, Miyakia, what was Toko talking about just now? Something about a promise? What? Hmm? Oh, I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. But, but... Stop talking. If I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of her. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Let's oh, go. Oh, I accidentally skipped too soon. Well then, let's go. Found one waiting for a reply. Biakia spilled away. But Biakia! And I hurried to catch up. I tried to talk to him several times as we walked. But he didn't even look back, let alone say anything. He just kept on walking towards his destination. Finally, he his feet brought him to a stop in front of his sudden room. What are you eating there, son? <laughs> Oreo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Excuse me? Is somebody <laughs> eating in class? <laughs> this is really not on, guys. <laughs> Yo, it's your lunch. You had your lunch time to eat. Let <laughs> me just finish this Oreo. <laughs> uh, I'll carry on. Vanya's feet brought him to a stop in front of a certain room. The library? <laughs> Come on, let's go in, he says while eating an Oreo. Can I have one of those, Biakia? No, you peasant! Hang <laughs> 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 <Hold> on. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna talk to him. So I see you've been watching those teacher TikToks I've been sending yes. to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, if you want a blast from the past. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's go. I'm talking to <laughs> Biakia. Mm -hmm. Um, is the evidence that proves it was Murderous Jack really in the library? Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Right, let's have a look around. Where are we looking? I want to look at the books at the back. Mm hmm. <laughs> There's no point in checking there. We need to find real clues. Well, joke's on you, Biakia. I got a coin for that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to check the letter. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Oh, he's really gonna be about the same age. <laughs> We've oh. got the uh, the lamp the was, desk. That's what I was gonna click on the desk with the lamp. What are you clicking on first, the, the desk or the lamp? Oh, well, I clicked on the lamp. It seems. Okay. Knock it off. What does the desk lamp matter right now? Yeah, I didn't mean to click that. I, I think he's desk. sending us towards the door. Right. So I know clues we need to check elsewhere. I got a coin though. Oh nice, well done. Uh, I'll check the TV. Oh, I've already clicked the door, remember? Oh, I, I guess I'm clicking the door. Sorry. If I remember, on one of the other, on the other side of this door, it's the archive, right? <laughs> Hurry up and go inside. Oh, here? Let's go. It all makes sense once you're inside. I okay, didn't know warning. There was an archive. One Ooh. of the subjects is about to come up now. Right. Just so you know. Uh honestly, I'm gonna be pre I, I am gonna be pretty vague about my experiences with it, but yeah, if you need any explanation, just let me know. Right. I don't really wanna talk about my stuff on stream if that's okay. No, that's if you have fair. any questions, just let me know. It kind of explains it in the way you Need to know it, but it is a really bad stereotype, just so you know. Right. Well, of course, uh, if you have anything in particular you want to say on the matter, you can, uh, of course, uh, weigh in and. Oh, know. I was just. This, I don't think this is an, a, a very good, re accurate representation of the sort of. of the. of, of the um, mental illness that they're about to portray. Right. Um, and I wouldn't base anything off this, but yeah. It's like it's basically just a a, a very dated, very stereotypical character 
sure of the mental illness. And some of the words they used during the trial are a little bit not good. But yeah. I see. But other than that, you just kind of got to go with it. Yeah. The fandom writes this a lot better than the um than the um the fucking uh, game does. But yeah, let's continue. That's really good. Fandoms can often be good for fixing up bad mm -hmm. reputation like this. But yeah, well yeah, we'll we'll keep going for we'll keep going and we'll stop when we. But if you have any do. questions, I'm happy to answer it about the general thing because I know a fair bit about it. But yeah. um. I'm not going to go into my experience, obviously, but yeah. Right. Whoa, there's so many books and files. It's so much dust, too. So, in other words... I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. Right, where are we clicking? Uh, I guess I'm going to click on Biakia. Yeah. Hmm. If you pay attention to your surroundings, you're sure to discover that value for yourself. Oh, thanks, Biakia. Yeah. Real helpful. Wow. Great clues, my, my guy. So I'm gonna look at the middle bookshelf. There's so many files stuffed onto the shelf. What's in all these things? That's enough. Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous? They detail all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth for a commoner. You mean like members of the diet or something? <laughs> No, I mean the ones with real power. The secret council control everything from the shadows. The lolly the yellow! Metal Gear reference. <laughs> uh, if you're ready to be dis if you're ready to be disappeared for it, take a look. There are some very interesting people in there. Oh, you're just you just kill him, right? Hm. Am I? I? I'll just let it go from now. Holy shit! Alright, I'm gonna look at the one on the right where the little step ladder is in front of. Mm -hmm. Left, I mean. The shelf yep. is stuffed tight with files. What are you really thinking about? I picked up one at random. Hmm. Oh, you have a sharp eye indeed to select that file. Huh? That's right. That's the report on our presidential assassination. The original is kept at the National Library. It won't be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? <laughs> There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up in for peeking at that. I mean, considering the situation we are, I wouldn't mind having a look at a few cheeky government secrets. <laughs> Big moves. <laughs> Without making a sound, I turned the file to the shelf. Okay, well, I'm going Oh, I'm gonna look at the little box, shoe box thing in front of the ladders. Okay. It's a wooden box. It's empty. Although, judging by the smudges in the dust, it looks like there was something inside. I wonder what it was. Hmm. There was an extension cord plugged in there. It proved very useful while I was in the library. An extension cord, huh? Okay. I guess um, the lamp. Or huh? It's the desk lamp. Oh yeah, it's the one, the same one I saw Biakia use in the library before. What? You have a problem with that lamp? It was, it was... here before. Oh. Not in my line, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was here before. Then I moved it over there. Too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. Oh, I got a coin. So did I. Making that money. Oh, hang on. Here's something I haven't. Oh, it's just a camera. Oh, I'm gonna look at I the think... bookshelf behind the Yeah, that's what I was about to say. There. There's a ton of thick files stuffed onto the bookshelf. <laughs> If you're thinking of looking for any of them, let me give you a little warning. Those things are filled with graphic, disturbing photos from all, all kinds of crime scenes. The kind of thing any normal person wouldn't ever want to look at. Be careful. Huh? What do you mean? All those files are investigation reports related to different cold cases. Those are internal documents, police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Oh. So, 
Are you finally beginning to understand the true splendor of this library? The entire reason I was interested in the library is because of this room right here. It's, it's home to classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person could ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be for real, right? Such ignorance. <sighs> That's you guys' problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your preconceived reality, you label it as a lie. What's well, not that? It's just. Oh, that's you, sorry. <laughs> well, it's not just that. It's just. It's not like I've totally refused to believe it, but. I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone put this all together? Hmm. I suppose it goes to show just how much power Hoax Peak truly wields. Or perhaps. <laughs> the mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Uh, um? It's no use. I can't keep up with all this. It's just too unreal. Hmm. What's wrong? You still can't believe it? What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like that are usually impossible. What? What do you mean, usually? Usual, normal, ordinary, simple, those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull the punches, do you? Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? But what makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? The document gap there. Uh, nah. The documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times, so there is no doubt. I'm reacting to that. Huh, hold on. You say you read all these documents more than once? But all this has to be, like, top secret, confidential stuff, right? So, why? Hm. My family has a reading room just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course. And not as dusty. Huh? Hmm. Members of the Togami farm uh, Members of the Togami family have access to any variety of government related documents. That includes foreign powers as well as domestic. How, how is that possible? So in other words, I already told you there's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. My family is a member of that council. And I have within me the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. <laughs> But to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of this world backwards and forth. So whenever I have time, I like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. Which is why I can proclaim, without a doubt, that the materials gathered here are the real thing. I... So I... I didn't realise he was this powerful. I thought he was just like a real rich kid, but... My... No, um... <clears throat> when you find out his backstory, and the things he's had to do to get where he is, you, it's pretty fuck, fucked up. Right, I see. Man, yeah, all... he's, I'm, I'm, that's not really a spoiler because his backstory is optional and you won't get it unless you free time event him. Right. But yeah, it's pretty fucked up and I'll explain it to you later off stream if you want, but yeah. Yeah, 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 well, we'll, we'll see, but boy. So obviously this is some deep governmental shit going on. Yeah. <laughs> this is beyond believing or not believing. The archive is actually starting to scare me more the more than the actual mastermind. Hmm. And what always interests me most were the cold cases. And what always interested me most were the cold case police investigation reports. Reading through those reports has always been a hobby of mine, ever since I was little. Fucking seven-year-old BRK reading murder reports. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> it's excellent mental exercise. I've saw more than a few of those cases just by reviewing the reports. Honestly, the way I would describe BRK, he's kind of like uh, the perfect middle ground between L and Light. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking you know, something like the hat. Like he's he's not like. He's got, he, I think he, he is literally it, like he, in the Venn diagram of L and Light, he's smack bang in the middle. Oh, for sure. He's and got among the, all those... um, he's got their smarts, but he's not as evil as Light, obviously. And... Oh, or, or is he? Well, or is he Jones? 
<laughs> he so he did it. He did it. <laughs> Put him in jail. <laughs> and among all those reports, one of my recent favorites is the murderous Jack case. As he talked, Bianchi had grabbed a specific file from the shelf. That's right. This is the complete case file. Every single report surrounding the murderous Jack cases has been compiled in here. Hmm. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main points. To begin, there are two notable characteristics in every murderous Jack murder. The first characteristic is that every crime scene, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. And the second is that when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodlust is written in blood and the victim's body is suspended? It's exactly the same as what happened to Chihiro. Save your surprise. The best part is yet to come. Oh boy. Hmm. Uh, for the second characteristic, where the victims are suspended, the only ones who knew about that particular fact were the members of the police and other higher-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? <laughs> in other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about that aspect of its crime. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about this act of mounting the victim. Hmm. Now, if you recall Chihiro's corpse, hmm. her body was most certainly mounted in this fashion. So, actually I want to say something quickly. From uh -huh. reading all this and also knowing, like, I'm sort of piecing clues together uh -huh. where on the one hand I think I know who the killer might be but uh -huh. on the other hand it may it's prob it's too obvious if that makes sense who do you think it is um I'm not gonna go yet because it involves stuff that hasn't been revealed but I'm strongly guessing it's gonna okay be the I case. think we should just wait till we get to wherever we get to then when, yeah. the, when the information is revealed I'll say my piece okay um so how come they so how could the killer have known about the suspending the victim that's right that's the key question but in fact the answer is quite simple so the culprit the isn't words. a copycat killer it's the real murderous jack <sighs> in other words are you not detaining his line oh no, that's your line. What? No, he made the noise. He went, Gah. Yeah, I just made the noise. Oh, I didn't hear you, sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, that right there is evidence that murderous Jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. Then, murderous Jack really is. Such a brutal, fiendish killer really is walking among us. <laughs> interesting. Hmm. Things are really starting to get interesting, aren't they? I never imagined a killer with such a reputation would ever become part of our little game. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what I've already seen? You might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. Oh, if you get down on your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. Okay. What are we looking at? Um... Oh, I'm gonna look at the box. Wait, can I look at the... What can I look? I guess I'll look at the bookshelf behind him. Okay. There's a ton of thick files stuffed on the bookshelf. <laughs> All those files there are investigation oh. reports related to different cold cases. Um, this just the same we... stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you've got to talk to him again. I think there's more to react to. Yeah, I'll talk to him again and see if there's more. Um... Okay, yeah, there is. That's fine. Oh. I skipped through the first bits of dialogue. I'm on, well, you didn't beg, but I guess it's okay this time. Okay, well, you didn't... Okay, feel free to look at it in here, but you can't take it with you. Yaki handed me the file and I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly, my hand stopped. 
have reached the page where the photos from the scene of each crime have been collected. The names of murderous Jack's victims ran out for several pages. Ken Hard Harada, 32. Teshirero Honda, 17. Soji Gatu, 23. Kano Ize, 14. Takeshi Foshida, 30. Sorry if I'm butchering these names, I'm doing my best to try and pronounce them. I can read directly. out the rest of them if you want. Yeah. Uh. Komatsuna Taro, Takifumi Gono, Uchida Nayo Hisa, Takashi Masumune, Yuto Yume Jima. Uh, there was no end to it. The one thing became perfectly clear as I read. All the killer's countless victims were killed and suspended in the exact same way. At the scene of every murder, the word bloodless was, written, was left in the victim's own blood. Now take a look at the next page. You'll find another interesting tidbit. The next page? Profiling results. All of the crimes took place either on weekdays at night or during holidays, either day or night. <laughs> Sorry. The most common time of the killings to take place was on holidays in, in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it could suggest that the suspect may have been a student. Evans suggests that the suspected suspect lingered at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an eyewitness has never come forward, it's unlikely there was any external reason for this. This confused behaviour suggests that the, that the suspect may potentially suffer from... Uh, Dissociate Dissociative Identity Disorder. Right, yes. So, in other words... The, oh, I fucking hate this dialogue. The key point here is that the culprit may well have a split personality. So, I suppose before we carry on, we should be clear that this... This isn't how it actually works. Yeah, the, and this... Uh, I just does the way they portray it and the way the characters treat it does not reflect our views or anything. No, obviously not. But yeah, they the so basically the social identity disorder is basically when um, because of trauma uh, in childhood, um, the headspace in which a person lives in can become fractured and can create other personalities or people known as alters. So it's basically like living like have it. I mean, the old school term for it is multiple personality disorder, but that's not used so much anymore. The associative identity disorder is the one that's sort of used more commonly now. But it is an ever-expanding field of science, so some terms, terms become outdated very often. But basically, it's where more than one personality lives inside, of, inside a headspace or a body, if that makes sense. Right. So, like, um, someone could have, like... Uh, quite common cases is that people have like uh uh like child alters or personalities if that makes sense and um, like they're, they're so it, it's it, it's hard to explain but it's essentially i hate using the term but it's essentially like multiple personality disorder but right. it's not that is not a good way to summarize it and i wouldn't recommend using that word to so did is the best way to, to refer to it hmm. but it is basically where like uh inside the person's like headspace multiple people Slash personality. They're, 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 it's basically it is multiple people, but they're called alters or headmates share a body. If that makes sense. Yeah. And it, it happens. Um, the original split happens like in childhoods, and then they literally can they can be anywhere, but like of like upwards of like ten to twenty alters within an ESIS. They're called systems, and they um, can be like upwards of like ten, twenty alters in any person's system. If that makes sense. It's, all, it's very dependent okay. on, on the person, and as I said, it is a really growing field of um, mental science, so it is, there is still new terms, it's a very unexplored part of it, but that is the gist of it. Right. Is that clear? Yeah, that's clear, and, and just to be clear, but um, when you say like with the alters, it, it's, but it, is it, it's not really in extreme cases as how it's often shown in media, if that makes sense. 
I mean, um, from like, uh, like systems that I've met and like personal experience with it, each altar is like wildly different. It, it's basically to each altar is a different person if that makes sense. Right. But it's not that like literally there's not the way it's mostly shown on television is like oh scary psychopath killer murderer altar, which isn't really the case. You know, right. you can have. You can have certain altars that are maybe a bit more protective or a bit more sort of um not 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 violent but a bit a bit more sort of what's the word i'm looking for like sharpened just because they're, they're trying to protect like cause some because it, 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 sorry it's a bit of a an ongo- a, a bit of a, tr- uh, a big subject but like because it all originates from trauma the altars or the people that come from like each trauma um, can have different roles. So, like I said earlier, you can have like a child altar who like personifies like childhood and is it, and basically a kid. If that makes sense. Right. And then you can have like a like an older like sort of scary. Not I say scary, but sort of like stern, strict altar who is more in charge of protecting the sort of body and everyone else in the system. If that makes sense. I see. It's, it is a bit. It is a bit confusing. And honestly, I do really recommend. Re- it if you're really interested but yeah. Yeah. yeah but yeah it's nowhere near as like it's not like oh i have like a murderous personality like this is showing this, yeah this is a very 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 big exaggeration and a bad stereotype but yeah yeah i, I was gonna say yeah that, that's sort of why i meant it it, it it doesn't it doesn't personify like how like how it is shown like whether it's meant to be no. like a bad Monkeys. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not like you see like when the horror movie tropes have it or anything. And I wanted to say that that the movie, you know, the movie Split, that's about like um, a man yeah. with DID. Yeah, that's that is hideously inaccurate. Yeah, I, I've not seen that film, but I do know of it, and I can imagine like that's really inac- inaccurate and yeah, and quite... that's a really harmful stereotype to be honest. Yeah. But if you have any, I'm pretty knowledgeable on it to be honest, um, and I have my reasons for that. But if you have any questions, just let me know. Yeah, no, no it's it's good to make these things clear because you know these tropes are very harmful and bad, mm-hmm. and you know it's important that we be aware of the reality behind them and why they're bad. And also, yeah. just generally be critical of media when it does do stuff like stuff like that, even if we do enjoy it. Yeah, um, exactly. I mean, I I don't support or condone the way they tell it in this. To be honest, it's not accurate. But again, as you said, it is good to be crit- critical of things. So yeah. Yeah, because I'm I'm sure I'll still enjoy the rest of the game, but this is a bad thing that they shouldn't have done. Yeah, I mean, they, 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 they technically, because because it's um the social identity disorder, technically we are we do get introduced to a new character because of it, and I do like the character that they bring in, even though they are a bit of a stereotype. Um, I do, I, I do, I do, I do like them as a character. I'm keeping pronouns vague because I don't want to spoil it for you. Um, and that they're 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 actually they're they are pretty funny. But again, they are a harmful stereotype. But again, you can be, you yeah. can enjoy things. We'll be critical of it. I mean, I think we've covered the basics of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, like I said, good to be aware of this stuff. And but genuinely, yeah. Jones, if you have any questions, just let me know. No, I'll, I'll let you know. I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure myself and also the audience in turn. Well, um, clear on these issues issues before we went further went further in. Yeah, I think I've explained it pretty well. <laughs> yeah, so we'll we'll carry on though. Carry on. Right. A. Uh, my uh, actually one other question. Do you want me to use? And is there any other phrasing I can use other than split? I mean, I think. Or... I think. Um, split personality for now I, 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 I'm, I'm comfortable with using that word I don't mind it's it's the story I don't think I don't know whatever else we could use so it's for the story it's fine alright I'll, I'll use that I, I just wanted to make sure before I carry yeah. on with the you know, I, I'm comfortable with it enough so yeah uh, 
spit personality, like the kind of things you see on TV. So I'm part of another totally unbelievable story. This is just... This one is way more unbelievable than anything else till now. Or maybe it really isn't. I don't know. I feel like my mind has gone numb. Big mood. So, just like Jack, he's far as been Let's go. Hand, but... Alright, should get going soon. Huh? Where are we going? Hmm. Anyway, but here. We finished our business here, haven't we? Ah, uh, wait. Yakia! As usual, Biakia turned and left without another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. Hmm. Well, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Huh? Just all of a sudden like that? I don't have time to play with you. Come on, enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Oh, well, oh goodbye. Okay. Just um, like I'm gonna take this opportunity to oh, take a quick uh, bathroom break. I'll be right back. Alright, you do that, friend. Um, I would take a bathroom break, but I want to wait till we wrap up investigation and, and get started with the class trial, which is what we advertise tonight. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so yeah, um, yeah, we just discussed that, uh, I do have my thoughts on the Kirby the Killer, but I don't want to say it yet, but, um, I don't know, I at least don't want to say it without Biz, because it does relate to what we just discussed, but, um, yeah. Oh man. That's trial. Yeah, I was hoping we'd keep it into a nice clean three hours, but it looks like it's we're going forward again tonight, baby. Oh lord. Hey. That's alright. Um man. So they can I don't know, maybe the class trial might not be as long because now we I think we must have we must have learned all the mechanics by now. That was an awful lot of mechanics um, when we did the trial, so surely they're not going to throw any more at us now. I don't know. I don't know. I think at this point, I feel like at this point in the game, we must be like fully mechanic up. We know all the mechanics and all the. We know how this thing works and how the story can continue. And let's see if you have any more supplies, which, you know, that's alright. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Hey, uh, I guess I'll do a quick announcement. So, my YouTube channel may finally start coming into effect. I think I've finally found a good groove for the channel. I've started writing some videos, there's going to be some short ones, which is I think is going to be good. I'm going to have a few short videos, but I'm also going to do some big ones scattered throughout, if that makes sense. Uh, I won't get into it until I have anything to show for it, but yeah, I've got a couple of ones in the work at the moment, and um, yeah. What, what have I been doing lately, though? Uh... Well, like I said, just writing. Uh, I've been watching some of the Rocky films. I don't think I've actually seen the stream that I've been going through them. Um, again, well, I don't know. This is the kind of shit I discuss when it's just me. Um, so I don't want to go through it all right now. I'll, I'll say one of the latest things I've been checking up on. Recently. And I know I should probably talk about the game, but... I don't have much, at least I don't have much I want to say right now on my own, but um... Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I have been checking out, I started checking out, I think some of you may have seen this, don't know about that. The um... 
the slash mu slash music essentials thing. Um, for those who are not in the know, well, actually, I, I can't say I fully know it myself, but I'm pretty sure it's a guide for those who wanted to go on uh, slash mu slash, which I believe is a, um, a 4chan board, so, you know, not great, but it's got a list of essential albums you should probably check out, and look, I have, I, I, 4chan is not a group I really want to be associated with, However, there, did, there was a lot of albums I liked on there, and a lot of albums I wanted to check out, so... And I want to really expand my music taste, so I've started listening to this. I'm so far only four albums... I've done the first four albums on the, um... First four albums on the... Ex oh, wow. oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. It's Monokuma! <laughs> 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 oh, you you got me good there. <laughs> what are you chatting about? Um, I was talking about. I I mean, I had stuff about I'm going to say about the game, but I'm saving that for a little bit. I, I just started talking about this music <laughs> um essential thread thing that I've been looking at. Nice. I oh, don't know. If, if you've seen, I've been listening to Radiohead, is the gist of it. Oh, I fucking love Radiohead. Same. I've listened to the, i listened, yeah, because it's a list of, like, essential music you should listen to for this 4chan form, and I don't want to be a part of the form, but I do want to listen to more music. Oh, my favourite Radiohead song is Dreaming. Dreaming? I think. I'm not sure if I've heard that one. I probably have. I'm sure I've made a Radiohead fan. I've listened to two albums. I listened to OK Computer and The Kid. No, A Kid. Is that what it's called? I'm not sure. Oh, OK. No. Oh, I keep going. All right, let's keep going. Just as quickly as he asked me to join, he cut me off. But you didn't have to cut me off. <laughs> Sorry. In the end, I felt like I just had to pee. I was just some pee thinking, tossed around. At the same time, I uncovered some really important clues thanks to him. Murderous Jack, he's the one who killed Chihiro. And that murderous fiend is one of us. But who is it? I have to find out no matter what it takes. To do that, to somewhere I have to go I investigate one more time. I have to go back to the crime scene. The girl's locker room. Should I, check the, I should check the boy's locker room too. And the others might have come up with some info I might find useful while I'm at it. I need to find out everything I can. All right. Right. I'm just I'm just fast traveling to the crime scene. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now that I know how to do that. Um. Also, every time I reach for an Oreo. Also, we need to go to the warehouse and the dining hall as well. Right. I see. Where do you wanna go first? Um. We also do we should we talk to everyone as well? Oh, no, I think it's only way that... Can you see the ex exclamation marks on the map? Right. That's just basically where we've got to go for this investigation. I see. So where are we going first? Um... Right, I'm gonna go to... Well, let's go back to the girls' locker room. Okay. Um... Also, every time I eat a fucking Oreo, I'm like waiting for you to call me out. <laughs> I, I'm not actually hearing you. It was only okay. when. Okay, well, now I can hear you. What the fuck was that? Me rustling the packet in my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a fucking machine. You got, had some sort of fax machine coming through. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just got a donation then. Really? No, no, that's you with the fax machine. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> uh, I'm fucking lost. I'm gonna walk because I'm, I'm having a bad time. Okay, Actually, I'm waiting outside. It's not that far, is it? We're going to like the pool area. That's not far yeah. from here anyway. I'm literally just about to talk to Fumi, so whenever you're ready. Oh, okay. I got the Lady Gaga Oreos, but they're not pink or different flavour. Just literally normal Oreos. Mm. 
Uh, yeah, I remember you said on one of your streams. Fucking rip off. Mm. Alright, let's talk about if we Ding ding ding! ding. I'm not doing this voice anymore. I don't like doing this voice. We're gonna go back to my Peter Griffin voice. Okay, you think that's bad? <laughs> ding ding ding! If Rumi just discovered evidence revealing the identity of the culprit. I feel as if. Mm <laughs> hmm Another sh. Another stat increase for me! Lois! <laughs> I will. I'm, I'm not gonna lie though. My recommendation. For some reason, I keep getting recommended really old Family Guy clips. Yeah. From like the first few seasons. Mm -hmm. Some of them are okay, surprisingly. I think there was a very As... brief time where Family Guy was alright. Like I think some Family Guy is still is pretty decent if there's nothing else on. Yeah. But there's some episodes that are just absolutely abysmal. I mean, granted. But I, I will. Oh, sorry. Go on. You go on. I was gonna say, granted, I'm not seeing the whole episode, but I watch. I've been watching clips from like the first like three, four seasons. Yeah, it's probably when it was at its best, to be honest. It is because it, it feels a lot. It's a lot more like random humor, but it's not quite. An, it's fun. It's random enough that it's it's random but and funny enough if that makes sense yeah and it, i still stand by the fact that the road two episodes are actually pretty decent episodes yeah no that's a fair assessment but yeah and it's also nice to see like especially since a lot of these clips actually involve peter griffin actually being a good father yeah yeah exactly <laughs> remember when he used to actually not hate meg i know <laughs> Evidence? What did you find? Mm -hmm. I cannot reveal that just yet, but I guarantee that what I found would steal the killer's breath from his lungs. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, Miss Lundenberg said she'd witnessed something worthwhile too. Really? What did she see? Well, she refused to tell see... me. It's like when a girl but he's just boys he likes, right? Right? Been watching too many animes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where's the list now? Mm -hmm. The warehouse by the mm -hmm. dorm. She was there, but at the same time, not there. What's it gonna be? Alright, let's go back to the crime scene in the girls' room. Yes. Oh, I finished my Oreos. I also said to chat, this is probably going to be another long one. Yeah, definitely. Right, I'm going to talk to everyone uh, right to left, to start with Mondo. Dude, there's a real complex about being weak. You heard Chihiro, Chihiro talk about it, right? Or I need to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Yes, sure did. Which I guess explains the trip down here. But did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl. Oh, I think we read this last week. Yeah, we have to. Oh, sorry? I think we have to, yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I haven't really thought about that stuff. Chihiro's complex. Where did it come from? Uh, I'm going to talk to Kyoko. Hey, Kyoko. Oh. Have you made any progress on your investigation? Indeed. Generally speaking. However. But I have to get going. I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What is it? Well. Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But, but. So then. Before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Jahiro's body one more time, thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. Thanks, K Kyoko. With that, Kyoko turns and left to go to the locker room. I guess I'll take another look at the body then. Jahiro's handbook is missing. That's definitely worth worrying about. Here's so. No, truth be, I'm gonna talk to uh, Sakura before we look at Chihiro. Mm -hmm. 
The hero's presence here was especially weak. Her body and her soul. No forgiveness. To target such a helpless being, it's unforgivable. What a wretched beast to do such a thing. I cannot forgive this. Right. Big mood, Sakura. Big mood. Let's check to hero's body. Kyoko says she's examined the body one more time. I know she said thoroughly, but I do have my limits. Well, I better give it a shot anyway. Let's see. Chihiro's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her up in some kind of crucifix position. Huh? This rope has a plug. Wait, so this isn't a rope at all? But the more I think about it, the more it lets... The more that's not the only thing that concerns me. The hero's fatal injury was a blow to the head. Which means something struck her head in order to kill her. That's right. That's the issue of her being suspended and the fatal blow. At first I didn't see any reason to think too much about either of them. But seeing them again after looking at Murderous Jack's file, something's not quite right. What does this all mean? Sounds of the dead body. Well, the one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was, that was used to suspend your hero. And I had to figure that out. There's a certain place I need to revisit and look over and again. Because it might help to look at that murderous Jack case file one more time. So you know we need to go for that, yeah? Yes, the library. Um, I guess we yeah, looked I've... at everything here, so let's get it No, out. I think we should look at um the dumbbell and the poster. Alright, I'll check those two things. I think we Which one them first? Time. The dumbbell. There's a big blood stain on the dumbbell on the floor. The Manakuma file said that the fatal injury was caused by a blow to the head. This dumbbell has to be the murderous weapon. Oh shit, hang on. <laughs> oh shit, hang on. What? I need to get the charger. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Mm. Nice, hold on. The dumbbell has to be the murderous weapon. Alright. Let's click the poster! Click the poster. It's the bloodstained poster. The blood is the most no more worthy part, but... The big breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable too. A girl's locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you find something like this. Oh, I know where that poster was. And I think that leads us to where we should go next. Let's head to the uh, boys' locker room. Alright. I'm heading in. What are we clicking? Um, I'm going to the, click the new poster. Huh? This poster is a popular boy band called Tornado. Somehow it doesn't seem to quite fill in the boys' locker room. Oh, but wait, that reminds me. The poster in the other locker room is... That's right, there's something definitely strange about this. In the boys' locker room, there's a poster of a popular boys' band. In the girls' locker room, there's a poster of a big-breasted swimsuit model. Could the poster have been switched? But if they were, why? What reason would anyone have? Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little more about the locker room. Um, that would be Aoi, wouldn't it? Or Sakura. Or Sakura. I'll talk to Sakura. Um, there's something else we need to look at in here. Oh, okay. Oh, I can see a stain on the floor. There's a strange stain on the carpet. Wait. 
Is it? Boy Zucker room carpet has been added to the truth bullet section. It's feces! I'm joking. <laughs> Somebody's took a shit on the carpet. So should we go talk to Sakura then? Yeah. Sorry, no, I, I just want to get to the class trial. No, I feel you. We're running a bit behind. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, I don't have any plans for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you spend a lot of time exercising in the girls' locker room, right? Sakura? Of course. I've used it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes Hina and I use it together. Lesbians! <laughs> <laughs> okay then, let me ask you something. Do you think the poster in the boys' room and the girls' locker room could have been switched? I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't really say. I never really paid any attention to the posters. I see. However... But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I like to drink the, a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. We have protein coffee? Mm. Mm-hmm. In the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and down a glass of it after exercising. Anyway, the other day I spilled some on the carpet in the girls' locker room and it left a stain. A stain? But I don't see any stain on the carpet now. Of course. Exactly. I noticed it earlier. The stain has disappeared. I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. But still, isn't it unusually clean? As if there was never a stain here to begin with. I see. This pain stain has been added to the truth for this. Right, let's head down to the the cafeteria and see Aoi. Right, let's go, go, go. Let's go. Sorry, I want to get to the class trial. No, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm taking my time. No, you're fine, Jones. Don't worry. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Mm -hmm. We've only got two more places to go. Oh, and the library as well. Here, the oh, warehouse no. library, and then I think it's class trial time. Alright, I just went down the stairs, so I'm gonna actually go back up there and go to the library then. Okay, I'll fast forward to the library then. <laughs> Alright, into the archive room. Give me a second, let me catch up. Right. And after this, we just need to go to the dining hall in the warehouse. Right. Um. Right. Let me know when you're in the archive room. Yeah, I'm here. Alright, I'm gonna look at the box again where the extension cord was apparently. Mm hmm. The wooden box is empty. The extension cord was in there before. Oh. Never mind. I think we should look at the book bookshelf where Biakia was standing. Yeah, that's what, what I'm going to look next. I want to take another look at the murderous Jack case files. Hmm, I know it was around here somewhere. Huh? It's gone. Did someone take it out of the archive? You're the only one who would do something like that. I can't think of anyone but Biakia. I think we're done in here. Right, okay. Um, you might want to click the lamp again, just... What, in maybe. here? Yeah. In the lock? Oh. Uh, I'll yeah, go it... back in. No, no, the lamp in the library. Oh, okay, well, okay. Well, maybe both of them, actually. That probably would be good. I'll click the one in the archive since I've just gone back in. No, that's the, um... Yeah, yeah you need to look at the lamp. one in the main library as well. Biakia grabbed that, well, that one thing from over here and put it over there. It sure is stark over there. I right, looked at that one. And then we'll look in here. Look at the one in the library. We'll get to the class trial, then we'll take a break, yeah? Yes. Huh? The lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see. It's not plugged in. The lamp's cord is long enough to reach the outlet from here. But the last time I saw it, it was definitely on, and it was definitely right here. Oh, that's right. Yakia was using an extension cord. But there's no extension cord here now. I wonder if... 
Right. Okay, okay. Um, let's get out of the library and head straight to the warehouse. Warehouse! Let's all go to the warehouse. Yeah, go to the warehouse where ha where lives Doctor Celeste. Oh, I'm just walking in. Yep, let's talk to Celeste. Celeste, what are you doing here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. It's absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see that, but have you found anything related to the case? Most unfortunate. I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought, talki I thought talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. Then you did find something. <laughs> Very well, I would tell you, and only you. Actually, last night I saw her. Jihiro was in the warehouse. What? Really? It's not like I had free time with her like, the other day. <laughs> this was right before night time. Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Oh, um, I was just. Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. <sighs> mm. She stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. Just like that, she was gone. Yes, indeed. I assume she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but it would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she had them broken our rule, none of this would ever have happened. <laughs> you get what you deserve, I suppose. Okay. So apparently, she went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. The strange thing is, there was no trace of the Jack Hill duffel bag, so Les said she, was, she saw Chihiro carrying, which would mean that Keller would have gone rid of it somehow. Okay, and then just Aoi, yeah? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. In the dining hall. In the dining hall. And then, should be class trial time. Woo! Well, not woo, because we're going to sentence someone to their death. She won't come out and she keeps mumbling something about murderous Jack. <laughs> so I just left her there. You, you <laughs> left her? My head was all swimmy and I was getting pretty hungry. Oh, yeah. uh, but don't worry, I'm gonna head back there as soon as I'm done eating. Tokyo's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Speaking of which, what are you eating? Huh? A donut, of course. Of course. Oh, a girl after my own heart. <laughs> oh, same. There's two things I'm sure God created. Outer space and donuts. Really? Hmm. I'll bet you here I would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. Oh, I should have tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did spend who did she spend time well, with? Us! <laughs> yeah, us! We did spend time with her! <laughs> yeah, she was a little strange. Didn't really hang out with the other girls much. It was like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, actually Sakura said something similar. She said that even though you and her invited your hero to exercise with you, she always refused. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's true. And it wasn't just us either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. Was she was she just shy? Mm. I don't know. She talked to the boys all the time. 
it's isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but to be totally fine with the opposite sex? Uh. Oh wait, maybe, maybe she used the guys. She was used to guys spoiling her. The law says she can't judge a book by its cover, right? I think I want to be able to see there. You think so? <laughs> I never really saw her as that kind of girl. How is it kind of known to the... uh! Oh god. Okay. Is it break time? Uh. Do you want to do break time now? Uh. Fuck it. Yeah. Or do you want? Yeah. Okay. I want to do. Uh, well. Uh, hang on. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say we could do it just till when we get to the elevator if you want. Oh. Right, we're straight do in. It. Oh. Or we could do it till we could keep going till we get to the the trial prep and then go on break. Well, I, well, I was gonna. Well, let's go up to the elevator because I suppose before the break ends, this is when it was before they got on the elevator. I wanted to have my um, my say okay, on so who I think did it. I right, so we'll do that then, and we've got to do our last voice line to some of the characters. Make sure you give it or you're all. Oh boy, <laughs> GCSE um, so, drama. Uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's the moment you've uh. all been waiting for. <laughs> the class trial. Oh boy. You remember where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor See of the school. See you soon. <laughs> See you soon. Oh boy. Begin the class trial or it's about to begin. The red door. Oh. It's right through here. Let's go in. Time to head in. No point to let the inevitable. <laughs> Jeez, it feels so much emptier than last time. Yeah. Ahem. So is everyone ready to... What? Hmm? Am I blind or are we missing someone? Yo. Yeah, Toko's not there. And Toko is... You really don't remember? Come on! Kidding! I'm just kidding! How could I forget that little nut job? She's a crucial part of the trial all this time. What are you gonna do? Okie dokie! I'll go and drag her out of, out of out, her out here, kicking and screaming. Just one moment, please! And just like he said, a few minutes later, he would appear dragging Toko behind him. Yeah. What she said. I, I told him I didn't want to, but he forced me. I can't believe you would drag a girl around. Yeah. Terrible. You're terrible. Phew. Phew. Now that everyone's here, right? Now then, hustle on to the elevator and let's get this show on the road! <laughs> I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. So, shall we get going? It's time to find out who killed Chihiro. Chihiro. Chihiro Fujisaki. She was so gentle, so calm and mean. Nobody had any problems with her. Someone made the choice to kill a girl like that. Right, last lines, last lines. And the murderer is one of us. Uh, shall I do my uh, guesses now? Yeah, okay. Right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh boy. Someone I mean, here isn't coming out. Yeah, I know. That's pretty scary <laughs> and fucked, but. Okay. See, I only. I could go for everyone, but this time around, I feel I only, I'm got it down for the two people. Okay. And if, uh, one of them, I think, is. I well, I want to be careful. I won't. I won't confirm nor deny. No, I want to be sensitive with one of lo them though, because it does relate to how the game is portraying them. Okay. Yeah. Fair earlier. enough. So mm -hmm. I think it's pretty clear that um, I think Toko is the one with um, DID. Yeah. I okay. Think. I'm not confirming nor denying. And like, if it is, and she, from what she's saying, it, it, what the game is saying, that she has like this evil personality that is, um, murderous Jack. 
also, there is a chance that it could be her. But, however, I do think, um... However, I also think it could be Biakia trying to sell her up. Mm -hmm. I think Anyone he, else? I think you may know about... I mean, here's the thing, it would be... Unlike last time, it feels like those are... These are the two I feel really lenient for. Like, I don't think it could be anyone else, but I could be surprised, you know? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. This fucking trial, man, is... Oh. Good Jesus. You know what? Uh, let's do last... Alright, last line. Uh, are we going from Biarchia across, yeah? Yeah. Someone's standing right here. Oh, yeah, I forgot I could do our little talk. Let's do our talks and then let's go and break. <laughs> Biarchia. I gave you plenty to work with. Show us how far your logic can take you. Alright, owie. <laughs> I guess there wasn't much help at all on this one. <laughs> so alright, we still love you. Celeste. Hmm. There is something odd about Tokyo's behaviour. I do not think mere shock is enough to explain it. Okay. Tokyo. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> Mondo. Hey, come on. Fucking Tokyo, man. What's got us so worked up? Ifumi. How oh, very sad. Miss Fugi Saki. I must admit, for being 3D, she was quite remarkable. Of course, just the idea, idea of 3D makes me cringe. Okay. Tucker. Tucker. <clears throat> I don't know why the killer did what they did, but I'm sure it'll work itself out. Justice always prevailed. Right, bro? Aww. Well, Kyoko? Be. Yep, Kyoko. Shall we go? Shall we begin? That was an easy one. Sakura. 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 Well, and we'll uncover the villain who performed such heinous acts on a weaker individual. Finally, and hero. hero. You ready? Mm. We doing this? Oh, that was someone's last lines, Jones! <laughs> Shit. Last time we will voice any of these characters. One of these characters. <laughs> One of these characters. And right. I know who it is. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's can alright, can Jones can Jones Z <laughs> and and Bizarrely solve the murder? Will they uncover this fiendish crime and will their hearts be broken yet again? Find out after these <laughs> messages. Do, 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 do.
Hello. Sent message from Discord. Sorry. I said I got a really passive aggressive message from Discord. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to you. Wow. You know, I don't know if I. Oh shit. And we're back. We're back. Oh Lord, can you hear that intense trial music playing? Yes. We are about to go to court. And we ain't got no ace attorney or anything. Or Professor Layton. Or Professor Layton. Let's go. Us two boys. Oh. Uh, we got, um, we got IIX Clouds in the chat saying, yo, what's up? Hey, the, hey, welcome to the stream, friends. Uh, we're just about to, literally just about to get into the trial now, so, uh, I'm tense as fuck. Biz knows what's going on, but I don't, and that's even scarier. So no spoilers, please. And no, I am terrified of this trial. No spoils, please. Right, the swap the gameplay. Here we are, we've talked to everyone. Let's go, go, go! We have no choice, right? We have to do this. It's true. Yes. I gave a small nod in reply. And with one deep, last deep breath, I walked towards the elevator on shaky legs. Reach step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. As soon as everyone was on, the elevator began to descend. I couldn't get a handle on my emotions. I couldn't stop speculating. Also, remember to um tell me what you're clicking during the shootout, okay? Yes, yes. Um, go through them once and then I'll tell you. Brilliant, that's works for me then. Yeah, steel box shut stank with heavy. The he oh, the steel box st sank with heavy clunking sounds. Sounds deeper and deeper into the ground. 
as we went deeper, the uneasiness in my heart grew bigger and bigger. Like you would say, one of these people's not coming up back up. Mm -hmm. The elevator was unaffected, however, I continued to descend without hesitation. Until finally, I think Makolo did it. I mean... <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> it came to a sudden stop. What do you think? I redecorated it. Isn't it so fresh? Isn't it so exciting? Hmm. Every time we get to the class, uh, to a new like backdrop, I'll set my uh, LED lights to match the color on the screen. Oh, nice. That's so, cool. yeah. Don't waste our time with stupid questions. Let's get this over with. Good, good. You're raring to go. Got to say, I don't hate it. Not at all. Well? Okay, then. Let's get this show on the road. Thrills, chills, Everybody, kills. please find your assigned seat. Here we go, Jonesy. And so the cannon opened once again. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defence, a deadly faith, a deadly clash trial. Do you want to save the day, I guess? Yes, of course. Oh, God. Okay, so, um, okay. All right, I forgot about this. So, open the hand. Do we need to open the handbook again? I, I don't normally set the handbook, but just set your new skills. Right, I'll set my new skills. Uh, a tentative influence. Yep, that's going to be good to have. Um, melody, 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 melodious voice. Melodious voice, thank you. Those are the only two things I have. I don't know if I'm meant to have more, but... No, I'm not really. They're not really important. Well, that's all I got, so... Finish prep. Yeah, let's go. Let's underway. Let's do it! Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. I'm just letting it go in auto for a bit. Out who yes, done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Okay then. So, first off, let's talk about the murder weapon! First, we have to make it clear what was used to deliver the fatal blow. So we'll go through it once and then shoot like last yep. time. Sounds good. Oh, Jocko. <laughs> Still hurt. Hero's fatal injury. It appears it was a head roll. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pipe. Interesting. <laughs> it certainly would make for a powerful weapon. What we shooting, Chief? Um, um, Iron Pipe or whatever. Iron uh, Pipe. Yeah, the weapon that we okay. seen at the crime. Okay. Oh, heroes, fatal injury. Yeah, we know what we're shooting. It appears it was a headway. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pot. Oh, oh wait, hang on. I clicked the bone button. Wait. Interesting. You've got to go for it again anyway, it's fine. Right. Remember, you can slow it down. I don't know what the controls are for you, though. Yeah, I seem to have... Actually, I better go up the controls quickly, because I went to shoot by... Click the wrong button. Um... RB, okay, got it. Okay, I, I've shot Iron Pipe. I'll just wait for you to come by. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument? Let me know when Makoto says cat. Oh no, never. Let me know when you've shot the uh, Iron Pipe. 
Interesting. Oh, fuck, I missed that it again. That certainly would make for a powerful weapon. What's your deal? Oh. Select. LB select. Oh, fire truth. Mm. Okay, it's why. Sorry, I've got to get No, you're yeah, okay, John. Don't worry. We're doing, we're, we're doing just fine. Fatal injury. Thank you. It appears it was a head wound. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was Let me know when you've shot it. Interesting. Oh, it missed. What? Yeah. You can slow it down, you know. Yeah. Okay, right. That's, that's how I shot it. Because it is quite a fast one. Yeah. Chihiro's fatal injury. It appears it was a headwind. SMH. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was SMH. Nine. Nine. Bang! Got it! No. Nice! Woohoo! Break. Can we agree that the object that dealt the fatal blow was the dumbbell found at the scene of the crime? Right, it was is, is, is it on auto for you, yeah? Yeah. And there was nothing what does it say? Can you pause it? Pause it. Put I it. He's, he's saying it was covered in blood and there was nothing else at the scene that could have caused that kind of injury. Okay. You good? Let's go now. Ready? One, two, three, go. The wound on the victim's head is consistent with the shape of the dumbbell. As far as I'm concerned, there's no mistake and no room for doubt on this one. You... Looked at her head wound? Yes! That's so creepy! Oh, shut up, Hifumi. Yeah. If you don't mind, I will proceed from here. Let's move on to discussion of the culprit. Although, I believe the criminal behind this heinous act is already quite clear. What? For real? Chihiro's killer is... The fiendish serial killer, Genocide Jack. My name is Jack, the fiendish serial killer. Did he really kill Chihiro? New element has been added to the non stop debate. Would you like to hear more? Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> For this debate, lines of white noise lines of white noise will appear. Oh fuck. Sorry, turn all the off. The truth bullets would disappear if they hit these lines. So think of them as obstacles in your debate. There's a way to keep this white noise from getting in your way. Press the A button to attach the silencer, which you can use to shoot down the white noise. However, if you shoot an actual amount with your silencer instead of white noise, the time limit will be decreased, so take aim, careful aim when you have the silencer out. Oh, but if your action difficulty is set to gentle, the white noise won't appear to, at all. In which case you can forget about the science and just focus on the situation in front of you. Man, I remember that pro ZD video you sent me of what the class trials are like. It really was accurate with them just <laughs> throwing shit at you. <laughs> oh, can you spell the word nice? <laughs> <laughs> well then, good luck and have fun. Ready? Alright, yep, let's go. Make your argument. The culprit is Genocide Jack, I'm sure. Case closed, as far as I'm concerned. But that's impossible! Why? What makes it impossible? Well, I mean, come on! There's just no proof for it! Hey, so, speaking of Genocide Jack, I don't know who that is! <laughs> me <Thanks> too, <laughs> big mood, Hifumi. <laughs> thanks, for your, thanks for your input, Hifumi. Alright, so the thing that you have to show me about. Alright, I'm gonna shoot, um. Uh, Aoi saying, um. Uh, there's no proof at all. Okay. Alright, I'm the going through again. Genocide Jack. Yeah, me too. I'm sure. Case closed, as far as I'm concerned. But that's impossible! Why? What makes it impossible? 
Yeah, I shot it. Shot it. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. I might know one reason he could be involved. What? I found this file while I was looking around the archive in the library. I guess it's some kind of confidential file the police put together about the Genocide Jack case. What? That's kind of weird as shit, isn't it? What was something like that doing in the library? The why of it is probably more trouble than it's worth. So let's forget about that for now. More importantly, it outlines all the specifics of every Genocide Jack case in exceeding detail. According to the file, there appear to be two defining characteristics in every Genocide Jack case. The first is that a bloody message is found written at the scene of every murder. Oh, that's right. Ooh, blast. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. It's actually bloodlust. But more important is the other characteristic, and it's something that has never been made public. Never made public? What the hell is it? Why don't you tell them, Makoto? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he really knows all the answers, but it's making him do the work <laughs> for him. The other characteristic of every murderous check is, if I'm not mistaken, it has something to do with position. How the victim was positioned. I got it. Okay, let's go. Got it. Apparently, in every genocide Jack case, the killer suspends the body in a certain way. Other than the killer, the only people who know about this are the higher ups in the police department. However, Chihiro was most definitely suspended in the same way. So. How did the culprit sure know was. about this when only high-level police officials were aware of it? Someone looked in the arch There's only one logical answer I can think of. If someone looked in the archive, I'll phone that It's because there. the culprit in this case is the real Genocide Jack. No fucking way! You're saying Genocide Jack is one of us? Yes. In fact, it's Toko. Genocide Jack's true identity is Toko Fukawa. Oh, he's not beating around the bush, is he? He isn't. He really isn't. Hey, okay, wait, hold on. Don't let me have the big reveal. Lotophobia or whatever, remember? What kind of serial killer is afraid of blood? Is Toko Genocide Jack? The answer is yes and no. Another riddle. <laughs> Why is this gotta be so complicated? I do love the dumbasses we have in this. Yeah, same. It's a riddle for sure, but I feel like they understand it. But well, it means from Merlin is Jack to be Toko, but also not because the answer is not just one person, but more of the people, right? Okay. Oh, this is a horrible word, by the way. Hangman's um. I can give you the word if you want. Um, yeah. It's a horrible word. It's uh, schizo. Right. Oh, right. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I don't like it either. I don't like the game's making us um, work now, but... Let me know when you've finished. I've done it. Is it Michael. because Genocide Jack has a split personality? Huh? I think I read that somewhere in the file, too. They thought that the suspect might have... What did they call it? Dissociative Identity Disorder. Oh, okay. But still, to go and say that about Miss Fukawa is... Perfectly acceptable. Toko's strange behavior after seeing the body is proof enough that she has a split personality. Yeah, one thing that shows Toko could have to do with... Uh, her behavior changed. I got it! Yeah? Yep. You're talking about how she started it. acting totally different than usual, right? That's 
right. Think back. She fainted when she saw Chihiro's corpse, and then, when she woke up... I'm fine, I'm fine! <laughs> Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? <laughs> I'm not doing that off. She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. The world has a front and a back, a top inning and a bottom, a sea of truth and a level of lies. It's quite discerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. Dang, that's bad. She was actually yeah. funny, that's for sure. That melancholy tone of hers completely disappeared. Don't go assigning adjectives to my tone without permission. <laughs> Not to mention, once she regained consciousness and saw Chihiro's body again, she was utterly calm. In other words, within her is one personality that can't handle blood, and one that obviously can. <laughs> so when Toko trapped herself in her room, it's because she was scared of Genocide Jack? I won't let murderous Jack have control. I'll drive out the k killer, drive out the murderous fiend. The reason she locked herself in her room wasn't to keep other people from getting in. It was to keep her <coughs> personality from getting out. What? Toko was afraid, afraid of the murderous fiend inside of her of killing even more people. How? <coughs> yeah. How can you know all this? I do believe you misunderstood her. What she's trying to say isn't, how can you know all this? No. What she wants to know is, how could you tell them? Huh? Last night, just before Monokuma gave his motive speech, Toko and I had a strange conversation. She told me a most interesting story. She said, a murderous fiend lived within her, and she was afraid it could appear and attack at any time. And that trepidation is what's caused her to have such a bleak attitude. Isn't that right, Toko? <laughs> this is all a lie. Right, Toko? You said you wouldn't tell anyone. I'm gonna take off all over set just to say something. What uh, what line? Um I'm at Toko saying you wouldn't you said you wouldn't tell anyone. Okay. So you at the you stopped to that. I'm line. on you I'm on a few lines ahead, you promised. I can't believe you lied. Okay. If you go ahead to let let, let it play to that then say what you're gonna say. Alright, I'll let it play to what? that and then I'll say you promised? I can't believe you lied! Yeah, stopped there. Um, there's a bit shit to start with. We well, just sit and doing that, but um... Yeah. Yeah. However, I don't... I, I've changed my mind. I, well... I don't think it's necessarily Biakia, but I'm starting to have doubts that it, of it being Toko. But you don't think uh, it is Toko? I don't think it is, and the one thing I, I'm a bit of investigating is that if she did know this in advance, here's the thing, she said she was late when she found the body, and mm -hmm. I think that is because she was worried about this kind of thing and did lock, it, lock herself in her room, maybe? <laughs> Yeah, well, maybe. So I just wanted to throw out that theory. No, it's good that, you're, that you've got theories up and going. Um, that's just what I'm thinking. Uh, I don't necessarily think it's Biakia. I mean, it very well could be, but there is a good chance. Plus, it's, it also feels very early it's gonna, to, like, reveal yeah, the killer, so... We've still got a little bit left to go. Alright, um, I'm going back on auto in three, two, two. one. One. You have only yourself to blame. You came to me with your tragic little story. I didn't ask you to. This is the real world, not some romantic fantasy fairy tale. <laughs> Besides, you broke your promise first. You said that as long as you were here, 
no matter what, you wouldn't let Genocide Jack kill anyone. But in spite of that promise... I'm sorry I couldn't keep our promise. But don't worry, never again. I won't let... I won't let Murderous Jack have control again. You said if I kept my promise, you would go out with me. That's the only reason I promise. How many times do I have to tell you? I never said that. But you weren't able to do it. You just couldn't resist that rush you got from killing, could you? It's pretty well. I, I tried. I swear I tried to control it. <laughs> but your efforts were useless. What a disappointment. I hate you. Well, the opening act is nearly finished. All that's left is to hear from the person in question directly. The person? Y you don't mean... Toku's body suddenly lunged backwards. And a thud echoed across the courtroom, but in the next second... Well, hello there! Is it me you were hoping to see? Yes. What the heck?! So you figured it out, huh? Well, whatever. What are you gonna do? I'm the ultimate murderous fiend, Genocide Jack! Or better yet, Can you just pause for a second? Genocide yeah. Um, I just want to clarify, just in case it's confusing, that's not Toko, that's Toko's alter, Jill, okay? Right, yes. D does that make sense? Yeah? Yes, Toko and Jill. Two yeah. Two different alters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You've got it, yeah. Got it. Also, let me know when you get to Taka saying, Toko, what happened to you? Um... Yeah, I'm a little bit behind the what the fuck That's okay, this? let me know when you get there and I'll continue. Oh what happened to you? Yep, I'm on that bit. Sorry, ready, three, two, one. Not Toko, that's a loser name, and what happened is a textbook split personality. So what if one of them happens to be a serial killer? You should turn a blind eye to one's fault. <laughs> Like they say, sound and murder is mine, sound and murder is body. This one is so different from the one we've come to know. Yes, well, the world is composed of a front and a back, you know. Just like how every inning has a top and a bottom, or how in the depths of every truth lives a little lie. Behind every dark and gloomy soul lives another that shines as bright as the sun! <laughs> this is the murderous being genocide Jack? This is this is this is beyond insane. Um, Miss Jack, uh, uh, Jill, can I ask you a question? What's up? Some of us think you might be the mastermind behind our entire situation. What are your thoughts on that? Dude, like, I am the mastermind like of all mastermind. Yes, kidding. Then it's not true. Of course, it's not true. How dare you try to link me to that creepazoid? And another thing, the police and government and society in the outside world are totally powerless. I mean, they just let this idiotic, bloodthirsty maniac go buck wild all over town. Sure, I'm a bloodthirsty maniac, but life is pain, right? To live is to hurt other people. It's a necessary evil if you want to survive. The act of living itself causes pain for everyone. Dad's kidding again! <laughs> this should be enough to convince you. This murderous fiend is responsible for Chihiro's death. There's clearly a motive, so there should be no doubt. A motive? Remember what Monokuma told us? If someone didn't murder and graduate within 24 hours, an embarrassing memory or secret would be revealed. 
Well, let's assume that Toko's secret was about Genocide Jack. If a secret like that came to light, Toko's life would have undoubtedly been forever ruined. So she had a very clear motive to never have that side of herself exposed. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. But sorry, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm not the culprit. But I cannot imagine anyone other than you could murder someone in such a bizarre fashion. Maybe so, maybe so, but nevertheless, it's the truth! Do you really expect any of us to believe you? Yeah! I could never believe a word you say, you monster! Maybe. Maybe she's totally right about that, but... Something's still bothering me. What she said, I need to get some more details about all of this. Right, let's watch it through. All right, let's do this. Well, sorry for being quiet. I'm being very no, attentive. No, no, I'm invested too, and I've played it like three times. <laughs> right, the status of the dead body. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone. You say that, but do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking. When you compare your past murders to this incident. The modus operandi matches completely. What more proof do we need? I think I know what we should shoot, but yeah. Give it up. You killed Yeah, her. um... Yeah, um... I think I'm gonna shoot what, um... Um... What, um... Yakia said about the, um... What? His last one, yeah? Yeah, his last one. I mean, okay. fair, that seems I to agree. be the only thing that, um... Seems like a good shoot, but yeah. Also, I, I, I agree with you, don't worry. Just to be clear, I take it those um, pink what that sentences flying over are meant to be the white noise. Yeah. Okay, that's not that's not as troublesome Shit. as I thought it'd be. Right. I I need to go through it again. I missed the I didn't shoot. Sorry. Oh, well, I haven't gone through yet, so. Okay, so we're shooting Biakia's last one, yeah. Yeah. Are we you ready to go? Yeah, ready? Let's go. Go. This approved what she said is quite right. Just go, go, go. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone. You say that, but do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps this music's had an slapping, alibi. though. I know, it's such a good soundtrack. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking. I feel like I'm in IP when you compare right your now. past murders to this, <laughs> the modus operandi matches completely. Right, shut it. Yeah, no. me too. Yo, come on. Are the methods of murder really exactly the same? I'm not so sure about that. I think there's a slight difference between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. Huh? How is it any different? Uh-oh, you don't know? Well then, human garbage, let me tell you! I murder with passion and conviction. I consider myself a professional, and I have a very particular way of doing things. Imagine you go to a fancy Italian restaurant. They're very picky about the noodles, the sauce, everything. But what happened to Chihiro? It'd be like if that same Italian restaurant started using ragu or Chef Boyardee. I understand the This is no creation of mine! <laughs> also, can we'll we pause for a second? That. Yeah. In I will be maybe right back. Sense. Give me just a second. Okay. I'm just gonna wanna get a drink, sorry. Okay. Be right back. I think what well, um, Murder of a Steel was referring to there was like a, a, dom a domino, a domino uh, for a company else's source, you know. The, the Italian sauce for the puppets. Mamma mia. Man, oh my god, I could go for some pasta. Actually, I think I might have spaghetti tomorrow. I'm gonna get up some frozen vegan bolognese I made the other day. So nice. but yeah, um, I suppose I could talk a bit more through about what I'm thinking then. So, yeah, I had a feeling there wasn't gonna be Coco because it seemed like Coco was gonna be the one with 
the DI, the, the DID, but you know, but I, I felt that was going to be too obvious for this, and so it could be Biakia because he seems to, he seems to know everything and um, You know, he seems to like know everything and he knows where everything is, so he could be capable of um So he'd be able to pull it off, no doubt. And yeah, he's more the info than in that, so I think he's got the um good idea to convict the wrong person, but <laughs> Um, however, it might not be him, because I didn't suspect Leon, to be honest. I think maybe Celeste, because she did have that weird moment with the tea, but yeah, again, I think that was just her being her, but I don't know. I do not know, if I couldn't suspect Leon in the first one, I think the thing is, is that with this case, this there seems to be more of a um, there seems to be more of a uh, a good a aim a goal. Goal? No. It seems to be ah uh, fuck. I can't think of the right word. Um. There seems to be. There seems to be like a, an angle with this one. There's clues in that. Um. Sayaka, when she was murdered, it, it felt like she was, um, it, that, at, at the time that Sim fell bad, it, it wasn't until the class trial was so again, anything that showed why she was murdered. But here it's, I mean, Chihiro, of course, is a random su uh, subject, but with this, it's more like, there's sort of like a calling card to it, or something like that. You know, it's more about, yeah, we have following patterns, but yeah, so I guess Miyakia or Celeste is my guess, and yeah, I believe, um, oh, oh, sorry, yeah, I believe Coco is Further is Jill is saying it's telling the truth. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, when the Monokuma jump scares don't get me, the uh, biz impersonating the Monokuma coming back. Back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Oh. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's keep going. Uh, go to one, two, three, two, one. There are two clear differences between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. There's one clear difference between the murders and the photos from the other. One of those Jack cases is like a neck and stomach. Um, the victim's in fatal injury. I got it. Yeah. Yep. For one, yeah, the cause of death it. is different. In the Genocide Jack murders, all the victims were killed the same way. According to the case file, they were all apparently killed with a pair of scissors. But Chihiro died from a blow to the head, right? Ah, yes. That is remarkably different from the other murders. Wouldn't it be strange for someone who kills the same way without fail to suddenly change their method? And there's more. One more conflicting detail. That's right! In my recipe of murder, if the bloody message is the tortellini, then the arrangement of the body would be the pesto sauce! I... Can you please Thank stop you. comparing killing people to killing? Uh -huh. 
I actually really like Jill as a character. Yeah, I, I can see why. That's why the second death is when they can somehow shoot or suspend it. The other, one of those jet cases, all those things can stab through their hands. And, um. Here. Uh. What she was used to suspend her. I got it! Yeah? Yep. Do you remember Got what it. the killer used to suspend her? He used some kind of rope to hang her up by her wrists. An extension. Board. What is your point? Well, in all the previous genocide jack cases, something else was used to suspend them. Specifically, pairs of razor sharp scissors. And guess what? I use my own specially designed scissors for the murders and the arrangement. Like I said, I'm a professional, so naturally I'm very picky about the tools I use. And, 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 and you know what else? Big Mac said there's two differences, but he's wrong. Big Mac, are you referring to me? Listen up, Big uh. Mac. There's actually one more difference. Huh? Oh boy, one more difference. My word, you really didn't notice? Take a look at who the victims were in each Genocide Jack case. They were men. There's a pattern there, just waiting to be discovered. A pattern? Figure that out, and it'll be plain as death why I couldn't have possibly killed that little lolly girl. Mm. Here I didn't fit it. Look at the names of every victim on the notices. Because Shahira was a girl. I got it! Is it because yeah. Shahira was a girl? Yeah, I got it! I got it! In all the Genocide Jack cases, all the victims had something in common. And, well, well we, we don't need to go through the names. We get the idea. Mm -hmm. All men. They were all... guys? That's right! The people I kill with such passion and conviction are all adorable little men! <laughs> I can't believe I said it! I'm so embarrassed! The hell is wrong with you? I can't help it! I'm just a full throttle boy on boy fangirl! And the mopey side of me just hates it! But now I'm on the fast track to becoming a full So, since Chihiro was a girl and not an adorable little man, you wouldn't kill her? Well, I want noodles. Would an Italian chef suddenly start making ramen just because they're both yeah. noodles? Don't be stupid. Noodles right now. I have too mm -hmm. much passion and conviction to cross that line. That's the absolute reality of the one and only. We get it. You've clearly explained your hobby and your philosophy. But that's not all there is to it. It's a different matter entirely, when you're forced to kill in order to survive. Quiet, lowly cur! Lowly cur? I would never kill for a reason as petty as mere survival. And if by some fluke I did kill to survive, why would I bother with the message and arrangement? It'd make me the obvious suspect! Still a point. That well, real good does make some amount of sense. Yeah, she has a good point. Yes! Whatever reason I have for killing, I would never leave out my prized scissors. Who would go out of their way to you, the big, stupid, heavy dumbbell? Maybe you used the dumbbell because you couldn't find any scissors in the school. Ah, oh, but there's any might be scissors, scissors in the sewing Don't just use any scissors. I only use my own set of high class of the entire world, scissors! Okay, whatever. There still aren't any in the school. Are you sure about that? Da, 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 da! 
She's fully equipped. That's right. So I can go anywhere, anytime. I mean, like, it is a pretty cool, like, serial killer idea. I just wish they didn't do it in such a horrible way. Yeah. I wish they took better care of doing the story. I'll just change it. Yeah. Not to mention, I have no clue how to tie a good knot. So rope's totally out of the question anyway. Big mood talker. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Could such a heinous villain really be innocent? But the body really was suspended, right? And nobody but the police knew about that. Yeah. That's why we figured it had to be the real deal and not some copycat killer or whatever. Actually, hold on. There is one person. One person who could have copied the murderous jack cases. Hey, we all know who that is. Yeah. Oh, shit. So, I was right. Um, Biakia. Are we selecting him then, yeah? Yep, I select. I just selected Biakia. him. It's possible Same. you could have found out, isn't it? Well... You'd have no problem gaining access to classified government documents or internal police records. Plus, you'd already looked through the genocide jack files before this all happened, hadn't you? I can, I'm gonna go off all that just to have a little celebrate. Okay. Say, I mean, granted, I, I will say, wait, 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 I did say I didn't think it was him, but I knew thought it was him in the first place. I'm not gonna lie, I feel pretty vindicated about that. I mean, the trial isn't over yet, Jonesy. Oh, well, let me have a little celebration. Okay, <laughs> celebrate. Well, he's definitely suspicious, at least, but we don't know if, if he, he did sucks. it yet. Yakia was he... acting sus, guys. No, I wasn't uh -huh. with Kolo, I was just doing my task. Uh-uh-uh. Should we keep going? Yep, sorry. Where are you at? Oh, uh, plus you'd already looked through the Jack file before oh, yeah, this yeah. happened. Right. Ready? Go on all the... Now. Are you saying Mr. Togami did it? Then, the reason he pushed the theory of Genocide Jack being the killer so hard was... ...because he wanted to pin the crime on her. So, he rearranged the scene to disguise it and make it look like I put my stamp on it! The adorable glasses man was behind it all?! Oh, I'm on fire! Well, Biakia, what's your response? I see. So now the suspicion falls on me. Then I must ask, when would you say I began acting suspicious? Surely you must have an answer. Hmm. Looking back and thinking about it now, the way you were acting right before we discovered the body was a little strange. And the locker rooms. They're very suspicious, very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? It seems obvious nobody searched the locker room yet. Let's start with the girls' locker room. You wanted to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? But since you're a guy... I should have naturally thought of the boys' locker room first. Is that what you want to say? The victim was Chihiro, a girl. Hence why I said we should check the girl's locker room. Nothing strange about that, I'd say. On the contrary, there's something very strange. Okay, then. What's so strange about it? Okay. Go ahead. Share with the rest of the class. There was a clear contradiction in what the young kid just said. I need to make it clear to everyone. Should we watch it through first? Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, a new element has been added. Yes, tell me. Next, we're going to add something called a truth flashback. If you aim at a weak spot and hold down the Y button, then you'll memorize that weak spot. This memorized phrase can only be shot as a truth, as a single truth bullet. If you shoot to change the truth bullet, it will disappear from the truth cylinder. However, you can use for that, this flashback feature as many times as you want. If you 
don't if you don't seem to have the answer to a lie or contradiction and you're going to truth for it, it might be wise to memorize a different brief spot and use that to make your case. When's the best time to flashback? Well, you'll just have to keep, use your keen wits, won't you? In this case though, I will say that if you don't use a flashback, you won't be repeating anything. So basically we've got to select words and use it against them. Right, and those that words, make sense. And will those words tie to like a flashback? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh, I f sort of. Yeah. I'm sure when I see it through, it'll come together a bit more. Um, but yeah, I think I get the idea. So, so hang on. Pause for a second. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So basically, um, you'll write or for me it's like click, but for you it's Y button. I think. Um, yeah, when something comes up that you want to use against someone in the in the conversation, select it. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So okay. So it's like a truth bullet, but it's for like gather. It's basically it's... gathering something to use against them later. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then once you've got it, you can shoot it at the contradiction you think it matches up to. Do you get it? Yes. You sure. Uh. Yes, so like you say, I can use that so flashback the orange against the contradiction. The yeah, so the orange text will go by, mm -hmm. and you can um you can click the um the Y button and pick one of them, and then that will be loaded into your truth bullet thing, yeah. Right. And then you can use that truth bullet against another point in the conversation to refute it. Does that make sense? Yes, I think so. Is it so? Um... <laughs> Just the, one last thing, so these bullets, are these the same as truth bullets? Are they one and the same or do I have to Yeah, they the are, truth? but you just you just pick it from the, t the dialogue instead, if that makes sense. Right, uh, okay, I think I got it, yes. Okay, well, let's just watch it through then. Well, watch it through. So remember, and then so you've, got to pick, you've got to pick one of the, the orange texts to use against someone, yeah? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Right. I'm gonna kill file number two. Alright, let's go. So, you said Biakia was acting kinda weird before we found his body. But he was acting weird. How? You're presented with the opportunity to check out the girls' locker room. <laughs> you absolutely take it! That's a How does he know the victim was a girl? How did he know it was Chihiro? Sorry. Who was a girl. Okay. So of course I would say we check the girls lock. So we should select uh Chihiro was, no was the victim, I think. Yes. What's so strange? So you just you press Y when that comes up. Sorry, I'm still going through it. You can go okay. sorry. <laughs> you were quite a bit ahead of me. Uh hang on. Here in the Yaki is coming about you hear a bit of the girl. I realize it's a bunch of it. Makes sense. How do you know it's okay, I need to make that contradiction clear. All right. So I'm gonna shoot so, him when he says. So you're gonna you're gonna press Y. Yes. I think um I think I've already gone ahead though. I'm on the end. I'll tell you when I shoot it. But you don't shoot it. You've got to collect it. Remember. Right. The victim was Chihiro. Then, but you you won't lose that bullet. You can keep it if that makes sense. Then you can use it again when we go around again. Uh, oh, shoot! I think I may have messed it up. Let me just sorry. Let me double check the controls as well. Okay. Um. Contradict. I'm just gonna pause for a minute then. All right. Sorry. Ben. No, don't be sorry. It's okay. So. Also, an open handbook, fire truth bullet. Okay. So, fire truth bullet, flashback. Why? So, do I shoot it, shoot it with the bullet or. No, I don't know what button it is. What's the flashback button? It says why. Okay, so when. when It's better It's better once you've done it. it uh, you'll understand it better. When it comes up and Biarchia says uh, Chihiro was the victim. Hold down the Y button and it'll go blue, and then then the truth bullet will turn blue, right? Oh, okay. I've got to hold we'll it ho down. Yeah, we'll hold that button. We'll hold that bullet, and then it'll go through again. And you can use that bullet that you've just picked up to shoot another contradiction. Right, you get it? Right, 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 right. Okay, sorry, that's the bit I didn't. I missed. 
Okay. So, you said Biakia was acting kind of weird before we found the body. But he was acting weird. So let me know when you've collected that then. You presented with the opportunity to check out the girls' locker room. You absolutely take it. That's a natural reaction for any guy. The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. Okay, so of course I would suggest we check. Okay, now we need to decide what we're using that to shoot. Okay. Pointless distractions. What does that make sense? Yeah. Right, so shall, shall we go through it one more time and then shoot? Yeah, hang on, let me just get through it because I'm halfway through it. Alright. Uh, here we are, he is coming about Jehira being a girl. I realize there's a clear contradiction there. So, make sense how I'll, we know before we found it. I'll just give you the answer for this one. You shoot Owie's statement just to show you how it works, okay? Right, thank you. Okay. Sorry, I don't want to... Oh wait, no, it's not our statement, never mind. Oops. Alright, well we'll look through it again and then I'll pick up on what hey, we have to shoot. Let me know when you're ready. So this is it, okay. okay. Right. Ready? Let's go. Need to make that contradiction clear. Alright, go. I need, I need to pick... Yakia was acting okay. kind of weird before we found the body. But he was acting weird... How? If you're presented with the opportunity to check out the girls' locker room, you absolutely take it! That's a natural reaction for any guy! The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. So, of course, I would suggest we check the girls' locker room first. There was no time for pointless distractions. I, um, think we What's just so shoot his own bullet back happen? at him, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So we select it and then we just send it back to him. Okay, right. cool. Do you, do you get how that works now? Yeah, now I get it. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright. So, yeah, I think we just got to shoot him. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, wait, no. Huh? Wait, what? Did it not work? You absolutely no, it didn't. It. Um, Maybe we do have to do Owie's one. I shot Owie's one and it didn't work. Hang on, let me try something. I'm gonna shoot his. Or maybe we select Owie's and then we shoot Biakia's. You know what I mean? Alright, I think we get it. What's so strange? We select Owie's and then shoot Biakia's, I think. Yeah. Oh dear. I want a bit. Like, uh, oh yeah, that is Jones. That that is what you do. Right. So select Owie's, then shoot. And then yeah. and then shoot Biakia's. Yeah. Right. I I'll say in my defence, they are throwing a lot at me. Here yeah, they are. Don't worry. Do this, so. Right. I'm ready to go now. I'm going now. Okay, I've already done it, so I'm just waiting for you to get so, through. You said Biakia was acting kind of weird before we found the body, but he was acting weird. Got it. Okay, so it should say, um, I'll tell you what's so strange about that, yeah? Ready? Should we go? Hang on. I'm shooting it. Right, got it. Okay, let me know when the coat says, I'll tell you what's so strange about that. I'll tell you what's so strange about that. Let's go. Okay, ready? Let's go. Because up until we actually discovered the body, we couldn't have known who the victim was. So your claim that you went to the girls' locker room first because Chihiro was the victim doesn't oh. hold He's throwing some, he's spelling some see. facts. That's a good Straight answer, facts. I must admit. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. But your reasoning is still too weak. Huh? What's wrong? Is that it? Surely you've got more than that. Go ahead. Show us. I tell you what, if he's really is innocent, he's really p p pushing, pushing about us about right now. Yeah. Don't call him, but he's acting like it has nothing to do with him. What's the matter? You're not finished already, are you? There must be more to it. There is. I think there is more to it. Think about it. We just talked about the differences between this case and past Genocide Jack incidents. The proof you're looking for is hidden in there. 
Thanks, Kyoko. Thanks for having oh. me back. Proof <laughs> that I'm the culprit, you mean? The difference between this case and other Resolus Jack murders. The evidence that proves Byakuya was responsible is hidden in there. I think we know what it is. I think so. Alright, we're going around again. Make your argument. Library desk lab. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Of course. What? The difference between the cases? You want me to explain it again? When I want to kill, I use my very own special scissors. And I use those same scissors to arrange the body. But Chihiro was suspended with... It was some kind of rope. Was it not? That's right! It absolutely was! Then there must be something very fishy indeed about that rope. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you oh, get it? Oh, that's a lie. I'd never seen that rope before in my life. Oh, okay. I know what we're doing. Think... Yeah, else me too. Must have had it hidden away somewhere. Alright, yeah. I'm sorry for being uh, quiet. I'm being very intense here. No, it's okay. Let me know when you go round again. Alright. I guess it's possible to first the island. It looks like it was, but was it actually a road ride to the I'm sure what the Archie said. I've never seen it before. What? The difference between the cases? You want me to explain it again? When I want to kill, I use my very own special scissors. And I use those same scissors to arrange the body. But Chihiro was suspended with. It was some kind of rope. Was it not? That's right! It absolutely was! Then there must be something very fishy indeed about that rope. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I'd never uh, seen shit. a rope no, I didn't, I didn't, life. I didn't get it. <laughs> I saw that. Alright, oh, I'll wait for you. Okay, thank you. Great. I've got to get, get rid of the, Actually, um, I'm pretty the sure you have seen it pink text. Yeah. Oh, did the pink text get in the way? Yeah, I'm like, I can get it now. Alright. Oh boy, this is... Hey, got it. We're, we're getting into this. We're, I think he's cornered, hey. if it is him. Actually, I'm pretty sure you have seen it before. Hey, let's go, ready, steady, go. Let's go. That rope, or should I say, that extension cord? Oh, he's calling them out. An extension cord? You I'm vibing to the music. I'm just head bomb jamming as well. The extension cord that was in the library all this time <laughs> went missing after the murder. And there's no way someone who uses that extension cord as much as you do wouldn't discover that fact. And Byakuya must be the one who took the extension cord. I can't imagine any other possibility. That's really what no. you think? Then your conclusion is something like this? I killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody message. I intentionally made it look like Genocide Jack was behind it. Is that about right? Doing it again. He's totally calm, totally unconcerned. It's like as if he's not even involved. Wait, not even involved? What's wrong? I asked you if you think that's what happened. Hell yes, that's what happened. So that's it, right? Biaki is the killer. I don't disagree with not disagreeing. <laughs> he kept calling this a game, right? So he be totally willing to do something like, like, like this to win. Yeah, I love her. She's one of my... honestly. Um, sorry, but could we hold on just a second? I... I think we need to talk I think she'll grow on you. More. Yeah. Sure. She's she really a bird to... We've already decided <laughs> who did it. I know, but still. There's something that's still bothering me. Right. Is that right? And what, pray tell, is still bothering you? I killed her in the girls' locker room, then disguised my crime. Specifically, I dressed it up to make it look like it was the work of a homicidal psychopath. 
What about all that bothers you? Wait. Was... What was that just now? Something's not right. Jail's body was definitely not found in the girl's locker room. But does that mean... Oh, was definitely found in the... Can I really accept what Biaki said as the truth? No, I don't think so. There's definitely something off about what he said. Um... Oh shit. Scene of the crime? Yeah, should we go for it? I got it. Yeah. Ah, oh, I got it! You say you killed Chihiro Nice, hold on. You sounded really happy. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Isn't it possible that the murder took place it somewhere did. else? It did take place somewhere else. How disappointing. What kind of question is that? Even in the world of disappointments, this is a true letdown. She was found dead in the girls' locker room. No, 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 there no. is absolutely no question no. about that. We know where How she, could where the scene she of the did crime happen. Have been anywhere else? Well... I think it's entirely possible that she was killed somewhere else, then carried there later, along with the rest of the murder scene. The rest of the murder scene? That was awfully specific. Please tell me you have a reason for saying all of that. Big Dumbass has arrived. I believe hey, I do. Hooming, welcome to the chat. Welcome, friend. Oh, boy. Did I just take you off guard? When the story suddenly moved to the crime scene, Biakia, who I've been so confident up till now, maybe Biakia never realised that the actual scene of the crime could have been somewhere else. Hey! Don't just move on without permission! What do you mean she was killed somewhere else? I. Come on, Makoto. If there's any chance the murder took place somewhere else, let's see the proof. You still there, Biz? Yeah, I'm still here, sorry. I'm just getting into it. Yeah, no, that's fair. Evans that shows the murder took place somewhere else. There was something that was switched between the boys and the girls' locker. We know this is Jones. Uh, Sakura's account? I'm going with that. No, 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 no. Hang on. Boys' locker room carpet. Mm. What was switched? The oh, carpet? The posters. Shit. I mean, both were switched, but yeah, posters. Uh, do, 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 do. Two locker room posters. I got it! Hey, um, the proof prisoner. that she was killed somewhere else by the way. is uh, first the time poster famous. that's hanging in each locker and room. What, if someone put a spoiler in? No, 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 no one, yeah, I'm just in some view. Just let the them The poster know. in the girl's locker room okay. was... Let me know when Biakia says your proof is some posters. Oh, I've got past that's that. Kind of strange? Hey, where are you? I'm at a picture of a big boobed supermodel. But okay, let me catch up. Do you think that's kind of strange? Big boobed. Big. Wow. All right, ready? Let's one, two, three. Let's go. Why would the girls' locker room have a poster like that? I bet those massive jugs of hers were totally fake. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh boy. the boys locker room had a poster of the super popular boy band Tornado. Again, that doesn't really seem to belong in a boys locker room. I mean, if you go by so just you're just saying that maybe the posters were switched? <laughs> and there's one other thing I noticed about the locker rooms. You know what I'm talking about, right Sakura? Yes. You're referring to my protein coffee, aren't you? Protein coffee? While I was in the girls' locker room earlier, I spilled some protein coffee on the carpet. But I noticed that after the murder, the stain had been totally scrubbed away. No, it's not that the stain was scrubbed away. <laughs> We know what we're picking here, don't we? Yep. Boys locker room carpet. I got it! I got it! The stain on the girls locker room carpet okay, wasn't Makoto scrubbed Kinney. away. <laughs> In fact, I found it on the boys locker room carpet. I mean, I like his attitude. Definitely the stain from my protein coffee. Then, does that mean that the carpets were switched too? But why would anyone do that? 
to move point. the murder scene from one locker room to the other. It's certainly plausible, don't you think? What? In other words, in order to completely swap the scene of the crime, the bloodstained poster and carpet were moved along with the dead body. Why, bro? By doing this, the killer was able to change the entire room where the murder took place. I can certainly follow your reasoning, but why would the culprit bother doing that? Huh? Why would they go through all that trouble of switching the scene of the crime? Actually, an even bigger question. If the murder did take place in the boy's locker room, then how did Chihiro get in the boy's locker room in the first place? Ah, uh, I think I know what this is about. Uh, to get into the locker rooms, you have to swipe your e handbook across the card reader device. But Chihiro's handbook should have only allowed her access to the girls' locker room. She had no way to get into the boys' locker room to begin with. No, she did have a way, and I can tell you what it was. I highly <laughs> doubt that. Shut up! I'm telling you, I know how she could have done it. Right? Could she have really gone into the boys' locker room somehow? Let's watch it through. Yep. Broken E handbook. Is it really possible? Could Chikiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Ah! I've got it! She must have hacked her E handbook! Uh, she was the ultimate programmer after all. I'm sure that would have been no problem for her. No, I don't think that's it. She used the thing that was in the main hall. Huh? What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. Right. If she had that, she could get into the boys' locker room no problem. Um, I'm thinking she Leon's handbook. I agree. So let's give that a go. Alright. I'm going back really into possible? it. Could Chikiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Ah, I've got it! She must have packed her E handbook! She was the ultimate programmer, after all. I'm sure that would have been no problem for her. No, I don't think that's it. She used the thing that was in the main hall. Huh? What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. Yep. No, he got it. Wrong. Yeah. All right. We're getting into this. No, I don't think Chihiro used Leon's handbook. Why not? Because Leon's handbook was broken. Oh. oh. Well, then, yeah, I guess that'd be pretty impossible, huh? I am struck silent by how quickly you gave up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Plus, isn't there a regulation against using someone else's handbook? Uh, the loophole. Actually, the rule states that loaning your handbook is prohibited. It says nothing about borrowing one. In other words, you could borrow a dead person's handbook all you want, and you'd be safe. Yeah, right. Yup, yup, yup! Hit the nail square on the noggin! Of course, if it were broken, that wouldn't make any sense anyway. So then, she must have hacked her, like I said. She used her ultimate programmer skills and... Psst. You can't fix an e-handbook. The instant you open one up, a security buzzer starts blaring. So, if she didn't use Leon's handbook, and she didn't modify her own handbook... Maybe Mr. Nayagi's initial assumption is just... wrong? It seems like there's no way she could have got into the boys' locker room. So I guess so. Okay then, I vote for Biakria. Is that it then? Chihiro was killed in the girls' locker room. Biakria's the one who really did it, really? Still, I don't know what else I can do. Hold on a second. 
Oh, Kyoko. I think you're on the right track. Come on, Kyoko. Bring it in you the facts. You finally decide to open your mouth, and that's what you've got to say. There's no way she could get in the boys' locker room, right? So. Why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way she could have gained access. What? What are you talking about? What other way is there? Well, to explain that, why don't we take a little break from the trial? I'd like you all to come see something. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Just <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Well, Akuma did not like that. Don't worry. This will make the whole trial more exciting. I'm sure that thought must please you. Huh? It'll make things more exciting? Also, I'm really yeah, sorry, but I will be then. right back. Literally two seconds. Two seconds, I'll be right back. Sorry. Right, I've turned it off all my... Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy, this has been... This troll's been in all kinds of twisty and turnies. Um... But told me, they told me this was going to be one of the most uh, exciting um, Germanic ones, so... You know, uh... Yeah. Man. Yeah, this is going to be one of the m m more exciting... I mean, it's only been a... I mean, the whole thing keeps shifting and all of that. Uh, okay. I'm sticking to it. I, I don't think it's... Um... Okay, I don't think it's uh, Jill. I don't think it's Biakia. I am... So I'm now certain it's Celeste. Celeste was the last one who seemed to have seen Jahiro alive. And she just seems like the only one who I feel would have done would have or could have done it, so I don't know. What do you want me to say? That's that's my thoughts. I'm back. How are you doing, friend? Yeah, I'm okay. I just wanted to grab something. Sorry. That's alright. I have decided. I now have. I I have my new murder suspicion. Who? Uh, Celeste. Oh really? Yes. She well. She just seems like the only one who I feel could have done it because she, what seemingly is the last person to see Chihiro. But um. I think I'm a little bit ahead of you. Um, I'm on, are we saying half for real? Okay, look at that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Ready? Up. Let's go. Now then, what is it you want to show us? It better not be boring or I'll be very unhappy. Oh, I have no doubt it'll meet your lofty expectations. So, shall we go? So before I even knew what was happening, the class trial had been put on hold. We headed off with Kyoko in the le lead. And where she sh took us away was... Okay. The girl's locker room? What he said. You've already searched this place top to bottom! What are you trying to pull, Missy? I'd like you to examine the victim's body one more time. You want to check it again? Be sure to examine the entire body very carefully. Take your time. I think I know where this is going. I yeah. Carefully? Like, like using our hands? No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! It's probably best if I don't run my hands all over a girl's dead body. It's not that I'm creeped out or anything, it's just based on religious grounds, you know? 
Very well. I'll do it. But, but you're a girl. You shouldn't have to touch a dead body. Just let one of the boys do it. No, it's okay. I think Chihiro would rather have a girl examine her. So just leave this to me. S Sakura? What is this? Some kind of secret girl on girl action? Is that what you two are about? Uh-huh. <laughs> Not it at all. Stop screwing around. Playing the kind of is okay. out Here I go. I'm sorry, Chihiro. Please excuse the intrusion. Turn the hands together in a brief prayer. S Sakura then began to quietly examine her body. Be sure to check her entire body, and I believe we will solve this particular mystery. Her entire body? I know you say that, but... What? This is... What is this... What is it? Not possible. It's not possible. Sakura's eyes were stark, staring wildly at Shihiro's lifeless form. A massive frame trembled. This, this girl is... Is what? Is a boy! Ah, I see. So she was actually a he. Shall we stop for a moment Thank to you for sort of address this, this? Yeah, I think we should. Uh, well, this is classic transphobia shit going on. Um, just gonna warn you be careful what you say. Because um, the fandom is really torn between whether she's a trans girl or whether it's just a cross-dressing male. I have an opinion, but I'm not going to be public about it. I'm just going to play the game. Right. Sure. Yeah, okay. But yeah, it is pretty transphobic if you ask me. Well, whatever way you're going to um, cross it. See, I want to see the others. Uh, had a video a while about trans uh, about sort of like looking at the roots of transphobia and pop culture, mm -hmm. and it's she sort of explained and examined like even when media tries to frame this kind of stuff as not meaning ex whether it is meant to refer to a trans woman or. Uh, a cross-dresser. It's like in examples of Psycho and Science of the Lambs, where they have characters that detect that in the films they try to state that no, they're not actually trans, but the sort of transphobic thoughts still sort of are sort of put in the minds of people, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't matter what the film clarifies that transphobia is still there, so that's what I'm going to say, is that I think it's fair, I mean, if I, I know the fandom's very, um, uh, if, if like you say, the fandom's split on whether she is a, um, a trans woman or a cross, or cross-dressing, it's still transphobic, especially with how with some of these reactions. Yeah, I agree. It's... I'm gonna, uh, from here on out, I'm gonna use they pronouns for Chihiro. Right. Just because I, I don't want to, I don't want to get, I don't want to be on either side of the debate. I'm gonna stay neutral on it. Honestly, I think that's a good call. I might do the, uh, I might. I think I'll do the same. If, if I didn't realise there, there, well, obviously I know nothing about the fans, and so I didn't realise there was this kind of debate. Yeah, I'll explain it to you more later on. But yeah. Yeah. Well, this is something we can talk about. Our, we can talk about this. Well, you can explain your actual thoughts to me off air. So. But yeah. For now, let's carry on. Let's go back on all though. But I wanted to address that because this is like. Um, a bad, this is not great. It's not yeah. great. Uh, going on all though in 3, 2, 1. What? You're joking, right? I wouldn't joke about this. Ren. 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 
really true? Jihiro was... guy? Hmm? Oh, what? You guys didn't know? Heck, I knew that right off the bat! Jihiro Fujisaki was totally a guy! <laughs> he was a cross-dresser? Yoko wanted to show everyone, huh? Interesting. <laughs> yes, that certainly does make things much more exciting. Now let's ride this wave of excitement back to the courtroom and get back to the trial. Oh dear. <laughs> you okay? I apologize for yeah, keeping you I'm waiting. Fine. It's just... Now then. Yeah, We're not, we haven't got long left, trial. don't worry. We've oh, all yeah. just learned of the shocking revelation that Chihiro was actually a boy. Are you still autoing it? From there. Yeah, uh, I'll yes, go, I'll well, pause for a sec. I don't know uh, his reason no. for hiding it, but the fact is, Chihiro was not a girl, but a boy. Like, like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm alright. I think it's just this and the um, DID bit thing earlier. It's a bit of a sour taste, but. I mean, I guess if it's... Honestly, gonna... this is the worst trial, in my opinion. Yeah, it is a lot of these bad tropes being thrown out for, like, for, for the sake of, like, plot twist and red hair and all, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's not great, I'm not about it, but, you know, well, uh, I'm still... Want, but of course... Oh my god, I forgot about this thing just joined. Yeah. Who is it? Uh, it's Rubber Duckies. Hey, welcome Rubber to Ducky. Rubber Ducky, hello. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's certainly a scene, all right. But anyway, look, we're going to move on with the... Um... We're nearly done. Let's keep going. Yeah, we're nearly done. Let's keep going. We've got we've done this revelation. Yes, well, I don't know his reason for hiding it, but is that what you're on? Oh, I've just gone past that. I'm on the next line. Okay, no. auto on three. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. And because the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boy's locker room. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list his gender as male, then yes, that would be true. Of course his handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a girl, but he was a boy through oh, and through. So then, Bye. there I'm should sorry. be no issue with Makoto's hey, okay. initial Thanks assertion. For in. Appreciate that. The victim was killed in the boys' locker room, and was then later moved to the girls' locker room. And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girls' locker room. So Chihiro really was killed in the boys' locker room? I still don't understand the motive for moving the body, but... Yes, that does seem plausible. Well, I must admit, I did find it rather odd. I knew he felt a little... off. There was a certain incongruity to his female body. This is the most titillating situation! So now everything has been connected. All the mysteries have finally become clear. Okay, well, connected or clear or whatever. We still think you're the killer, remember? <laughs> oh, hello there. Very interesting. Fine. This has become oh. very interesting indeed. Ah, I'm sorry, he's off in his own name. little world. Hey, what well, about him. you, Makoto? After everything we've learned, do you still think Byakuya's the killer? Well, without a doubt, Byakuya is the one that made Chihiro's death look like Genocide Jack did it. But, but I, I think he might not actually Those be the killer things. after all. What? But aren't you the one who Wait, what? Him Wait, pause for a second. What? Oh, sorry. Someone in the chat saying I saw Smondo. Uh, I don't know if it's. I highly doubt it's Mondo. But please Fair don't spoil Please don't spoil us. He just okay, seems ready? to be too yep. easy going about all this. Like he's enjoying us solving the mystery. The way he's acting, it makes it seem like it doesn't have anything to do with him. 
And you think that might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him? Plus, the evidence he left behind was a little too... How can I put it? Overt. He consciously chose to use the extension cord, knowing it could connect him to the murder. At least, that's how I see it. And Byakuya, when you found out the murder took place in the boys' locker room, it seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was actually a guy. If you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on you. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but... It's fine. It's got I a guess point. I'll mark it as correct for the time being. Mark it as correct? He's right. I am not the culprit. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girls' locker room and decided to alter it. Oh, shit. Are you fucking with us right now? Jeez. No, I am not yep. fucking with <laughs> you right now. I'm telling you the truth. Well, I find it very hard to believe. Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed along with the rest of us. If you're really telling the truth, then why? Why do you do that to his body? My reasons hardly matter right now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you say? Now then, if it wasn't me, who was it? Well, I don't think I can say for sure without talking about it a little more. We're seriously gonna keep going? We're all good, aren't we? I thought it was clear Byakuya did it. No, I'm with Makoto. If there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every possibility. Because if we're wrong, we all die here. That's true. Very well then. I'm with you too. Damn straight. Count me in. Do you not have a mind of your own? This is good. Of course I do. This is good. What oh. am I, an ant or something? Anyway, let's discuss this all as a group one more time. We still have time to make <laughs> a decision. Oh, that's very true. Our lives are all on the line. Excellent. <sighs> then shall we resume our game of hide and seek? Oh boy, but if Biakia didn't do it, then who's the real killer? Who was Chihiro? There's one thing we can be sure what we know about the killer. The killer was able to gain access to the rumors, which means well, the killer is a guy. A guy! Yeah? So. Oh shit, since the crime scene was the boy's locker room, you would need the boy's handbook to get in. Since Zero's handbook is apparently broken, the killer would have had to use their own. Unless they broke it somehow. In other words, they had to have been a guy. That's still not enough. I need to find some more clues. Here we go! Let's watch it through, yeah? Yep. Rip Sonica, rip indeed. Alright, so let's just account. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Well, clues are one thing, but. Did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind but of window. what we shoot in. It's oh, hang on, never mind. Sorry. You want to know who saw the victim? The killer. And only the killer. And it's not like they're just gonna turn themselves in. Game over, man. Game over. Like say the instructor. Yeah, no, not game over. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm a little bit. I'm torn. I'm actually torn between the two things. But I think the Draw safest it. one to go is with Aoi, saying we need new information. Okay, let's let's do it then, yeah? Right, let's go. There's more information to have. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Well, 
cruiser oh, one boy. Did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone Man, saw I'm the getting, killer, I'm they would have said anxious. something by now. Uh -huh. Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of... Oh, movement. Owies isn't right. Oh, no. It's so no. Oh, I fuck, I'm so going for him, though. I'm not waiting Which for the saw the victim? Um... The killer. I know we need to kill her. Oh, I was right! No, that's wait, wait for me, hang on. Shit. All right, shit. Okay. Oh shit, I did that on the whim! I believe someone else did oh, see damn. the victim before he was murdered. What do you think, oh, Celeste? Oh, okay. Let me no, know no, wait, hang on. Let me know when you're on the coast first line. Done it. Yeah, you were right. Well done, Jonesy. Alright, I believe someone else. Alright, let's go on all the 3, 2, 1. Now that you mention it, yes, I did see him. Huh? Really? Oh, but I suppose only Makoto knows about this. The rest of you had no idea, did you? That is why you're all making such ugly noises. Whatever! Just hurry up and tell us! It was last night, right before night time. I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. A track jacket and a duffel bag? But we didn't find anything like that at the murder scene. It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. And that is when he said something that struck me as rather odd. I'm getting really nervous, Jones. told me he was in a hurry. But why would he be in a hurry? Only Hello? Yes, yeah, sorry. Scene. I am getting nervous. So, Mr. Fujisaki what, 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 was what is, Can you pull it? Where are you? I'm um, on uh, Hifumi Singh. So, Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone. And then Hi, yeah. Were, yeah. Ready? Ready? But Hina and I had invited him to exercise with us plenty of times, and he always declined. Probably because he was afraid you'd find out the secret he was hiding, right? Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much. Oh, Enough so that he was willing to risk yeah, the I secret just being revealed. Who I think he is. Oh, oh, a a friendship! The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure I'm out. I'm just jamming to the music. But knowing what we know, I can't even guess. No, you already have what you need to make the connection. Huh? You know who the killer is. S seriously? Wh who is it? Who's the killer? Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. Okay. Focus on the details of these items, and it should become obvious who was waiting for him. Are okay, Jones, sure you've really got to think that? here. Okay, shit. You really think we can figure out who did it based on two pieces of evidence that we don't have? I'm not gonna look at the chat Boy, for a while. You wanna track down some yeah, I would. prints or something? Even if we had the equipment for that, we wouldn't know how to use it. As was noted, the evidence is already gone. There's nothing to get fingerprints from. Maybe, but we can make certain inferences if we just take the time to talk it out. Easy for you to say. But fine. Celeste. Did you notice anything special about the bag or jacket? The bag was just a normal duffel bag from the warehouse. All the bags in there are the same, so I can't imagine what would make that one special. Well, if I remember right, there was a decent variety of tracksuits to choose from. Do you think there might be some connection between the culprit and Chihiro's jacket? Perhaps. Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. Just 
give a track track to really hold to do something killer. Somehow it really it's really hard to believe. Right, let's go! Make your We really got really gotta focus here. Right. I'm really I'm I'm putting all my thoughts up. First of all, we know where Chihiro was heading. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing. So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black. I, I don't even have a tracksuit. Because exercising sucks. I have a white tracksuit, personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer to figuring out who the culprit is? No way. Not a chance. You heard him, right? What he just said without even realizing it? What are you thinking? Uh, I don't know. Right, what he said right now is really odd. How did he know something like that? First of all, we uh, know where Chihiro is it was heading. What Mondo he said? Was on his way to go exercise. Should we try that? Yeah. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing. So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is poor. Oh wait, no, it was the blue tracksuit. Shoot! Yeah, I shot that. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about First the other all, thing. We know what you feel with okay, I'll wait for you then. He was on his way to go exercise. So Let me know when you've shot that. Ask, yeah, sorry. Why did he choose the specific okay. tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing. Mm -hmm. So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? No, it's wrong! Hold on a second, Mondo. What did you just say? Oh, fuck. Huh? What I say? <laughs> oh, when Celeste no. testified a few minutes ago. Let me know when said... uh, Makoto says, hold on a sec, Mondo. What did you just say? Oh, I've gone past that. Where are you? I'm on uh, Celeste. I saw them stuff in the tracksuit to the duffel bag. Okay, let me catch up. Right, I'm there. Cool. Can I keep going? Yep. Never said anything about the jacket's color. So why did you say to Hero's blue tracksuit? Who are you? You just no. Hey, Celeste. No. What color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact, it was blue. And before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? The only one I told about any of this was you. Then, Mondo, how did you know what color Shihiro's tracksuit was? Because I... I just... I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. Oh, no, that no. can't be it. The bag and clothes were surely no. disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Could have known what color the tracksuit was. Is if he saw Cherry with it before he died? That's the only possibility. Cherry? Are, are you talking about your hero? So, how about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? Just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. He walked past me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. Oh shit, bro. No, that can't be it either. Can you tell me where you I'm are? To to catch up. Um, I'm on. No, that can't be it either. I'm going to Celeste's testimony. Okay, I'm on Celeste's 
Oh, uh, I'm on Makoto saying when Celeste noticed it. Let me know when you get there. When Celeste noticed it, yep, I'm Shikiro there. made a point of making sure the jacket Bet. was completely Go. in the bag. <laughs> you just ran into him briefly. You couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. Oh, fuck. It would appear you dug your own grave. Oh, no. Perhaps. But I'm sorry, John D. No. That's why you said what you did. Focus on the tracks. <laughs> It'll be obvious it's who he met with. To have your what a bunch kill. of nonsense. It's one thing to have to be a murderer. Ah, now I understand. Fucking it was hell. all one big bluff, wasn't it? Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why you said you knew who did it. To put them on edge. That's right. However, Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about him from the very beginning. But why? Kyoko fucking on this shit. So, she really is. so what made her question. suspicious? The way he talked, the way he was acting. The way he was acting? No, the way he yeah. talked. The yeah. Way he talked. There was a certain turn oh, wait, point is that... that tipped me off. Oh, no. Maybe not. Okay, maybe, maybe it's the you way didn't he notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. Oh, never mind. She's explaining it anyway. Okay. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. And after he was killed, you happen to refer to him as dude. Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. <laughs> you didn't notice such a tiny detail? Are you a witch? She's a witch! You're positively frightful! No, I'm not the frightful one. Not nearly as frightful as someone <coughs> capable of murdering a friend. Yeah. Mondo, was it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I. 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 Uh, I didn't kill anyone! You've been all over me, judging everything I say, putting words in my mouth. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? Yeah! You would never do something like that! This is a false accusation! It's true. My reasoning on that is pretty shaky. That was fast. Well, <laughs> this does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of leads. <laughs> my time has nearly come. That's what my little ghost Oh yeah, Fumi knew something that we didn't. Oh yeah. yeah. That reminds me. Keep Fumi. Why Fumi don't you tell me you found some, some evidence? <laughs> really? What kind of evidence? Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it here calmly, it might not be all that relevant. Come on, Fumi. Come on, Fumi. Come on. Man, Get it out. Heartbreaking. The person you hate just made a really good point. <laughs> assist, then. Um, here it is. Mm -hmm. What do you have there? It happens to be an e-handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. Found the ground, right? Then it must belong to it's Jehiro's. I got it. You sure? Yes. We know Chihiro's handbook was missing from the Oh, you're right. That's the scene of the crime. For a fact. For a fact indeed. I was totally sure I'd found it. But it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Well, that's what I was hoping. But it's busted. It won't even turn on. I imagine the culprit broke it to get rid of any evidence after the murder. That's odd. I didn't think the handbooks were quite so fragile. You're right. They're not. They're totally waterproof and shock resistant. It would take an awful lot to break one. And yet, this one does appear to be broken, as is Leon's, sitting useless in the main hall. For all your confidence, that is a remarkably high failure rate. <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? How 
How precisely did the handbooks get broken? Very My hand is weak. I can't. You already told yeah. us before that the yes. handbook has one weak point, didn't you? Yeah. You remember that? Uh, uh, sure. Hell I yeah, I do. Slip, but I never told anyone what the weak point actually was. But if the handbook is supposed to never break, and two of them broke in quick succession, then... Then we can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness. You know what the weakness is, right, Monokuma? So, what is it? You're asking me? I think it's a necessary piece of information if you want this to be a fair trial. But if I tell you, and someone else yeah, she's tries right. to copy it, that would be very not good. Just tell us already! Why would we want to break our own handbooks? <sighs> oh well, I have a weakness for pushy demands. But you're sure you won't follow their example? Then allow me to make a special announcement. The weak point of my cutting-edge e-handbook is... When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown and totally break! Oh, I fuck, it's it. in the, the sauna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause I found the handbook laying on the floor of the sauna. Oh, shit. The temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. So that's Strange why you also you have his clothes on. Huh. It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling layer of air around your skin. If the hot air of the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you'd definitely get fried. That layer of air would get blown away. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. So when you're in a sauna, make sure to keep nice and still. Interesting. I learned one new fact today. That I like how tough you find finding out that his new best buddy anyway, may kill someone. He's like, you ah, the, victim's the more you know. The sauna, <laughs> then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Meaning the culprit somehow knew its weakness. But how'd they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? Indeed. Quite the mystery. What if they found out by accident? What do you mean, by accident? What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness, and it broke? They'd realize it was broken, of course, and it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I won't say it's not possible, but who would have done something like that? I don't know of anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. I might know someone who did. Oh. Seriously? <laughs> I think the one who may have uh -oh. taken their handbook into the sauna was... Yeah. Who may have brought their handbook into the sauna? I had to be one who wore the clothes into the sauna. It was Monka. Oh, fuck. Here's my answer. I've selected him. Here's my answer. Yes, yeah, I'm. I didn't want to do Mondo. it. Your handbook got broken in the sauna. Can you let me know when you get to Kiyotaka saying why? Why? Why do you keep accusing me? Catch up. Oh, Mondo and Taka up, had an yeah. endurance contest in the sauna. Where, not where too are long you, Jones? I'm uh, talking about um, and them in the, the contest, sauna. Mondo just so. Oh, can you tell me the exact text he's saying? Because I want to think up again. Is saying, and for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. Okay, cool. I'm there. Wait. Ready? Let's uh, yeah. go now. But little yeah. did he realize, he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. Uh, no. Wait, hold on. You 
You've got it all wrong. He would never kill. Tough. Yeah. I don't accept this. Show me the proof. The actual um, solid proof. I feel for Tough is so bad here. Yeah, big same. I mean, I don't want to believe that either, but Thanos doing that food zip on the shadow of a doubt. Right. Oh. Here we are. We go around and then we pick who it is. Oh, Brook and Ian, but Shahiro's Ian have the card reader. Okay. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! See? Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! What are we shooting, Jonesy? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go for it again? Looking on this handbook, we're doing sort of a showdown. I can just prove that and show that the handbook Mondo has must actually be. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, I'm gonna broken, try broken e handbook when Leon right. says. Well, my goddamn handbook Ham works just handbook fine. Works just fine. See? Oh, I Look. missed it. Never mind. Hang on. That's all right. was wrong after all. Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly. So we're going broken e handbook at Mondo saying. Uh, yes, it's at him saying my handbook works just fine. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. Yeah, shot it, that's right. Alright, I'm just kidding. I'll wait for you. Is actually broken, All right. That's alright. Then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works Let me know when Makoto says Mondo, the handbook you no, have. Alright. Break! Mondo. The huh? You have right now. I'm on, yep, really I'm on the yours? line. Ready? Ready, set, go. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? The broken handbook that was in the main hall. Isn't that one actually yours? What the heck are you talking about? What I mean is, I think Mondo swapped his handbook out for one that actually works. I think he took Leon's handbook and replaced it with his own. Yeah. After all, Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook never should have broken. That's right! The punishment it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy it. So then, the broken handbook in the main hall is actually Mondo's, which would mean that the handbook Mondo has right now is actually Leon's, yes? But doesn't that violate the school regulation that says loaning out your handbook is prohibited? Well, here's how I look at it. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student. But if they're dead, they're not a student. It's fucking loopholes, man. It's kind of a great area, mm -hmm. I admit. But no worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. As such. That exchanging handbooks with a corpse is because not the violation of, of the Kuma's rules. Well, Mondo, if I'm wrong about this, <laughs> you're welcome to say so. I'm happy to admit I made a mistake, but. Son of a bitch! What's wrong, bro? C come on! Tell him he's wrong! You are wrong! You have to be wrong! Everything you just said is wrong! You made it all up! Okay, then why don't we look back on this case one more time, from the beginning? Oh boy, is it comic book time? That way, everything will become clear. Yeah, yeah. You she gets to make a comic book after long. this. <laughs> We've been going for ages, by the way, Jones. I know, sorry about that. No, I'm, I'm fine, don't worry. It's still pretty early, to be honest. Oh yeah. Right, let's make the comic book, then meet up afterwards, okay? Alright.
I'll tell you when I'm done. so much easier playing this game with a mouse. Oh, for sure. I can't imagine playing it with a uh, fucking mouse, like, little pad. Yeah, me too, don't worry. red herrings in it by the way yeah It's alright, yeah, don't worry. Sorry. Oh boy. It's it's harder than it feels it it's harder than it feels like it should be. Yeah, I agree. Especially with this case, this doesn't feel as straightforward as um No. I think I got it. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Last night, Celeste saw Chihiro in the warehouse, correct? At the time, she was apparently No, Makoto's really smart for an average student. He really is. I think he's a bit more than the average student as well. That something was a blue track. Mm. You can confirm this, right, Celeste? With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. She made her way to the locker room, specifically the boys' locker room. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? Okay, we got it right. Yeah, I've got it right so far as well. Because she was really a key. 
which is why he was able to use his own handbook to gain entrance to the boys' locker room. Once inside, he met with someone there. And the person he met was the one who killed him. It seems likely that the killer grabbed the nearby dumbbell, approached the unsuspecting the Jakiro. Thing with them goes wide. That's probably the bit that hurts gonna hurt the most. And attacked him. And that's where the blood stains on the poster and carpeting in the boys' locker room came from. It was like oh, the, the, the body was arranged, Stop. but the murder Good itself stuff. felt unplanned. Which is why the killer hurried to try and hide the act. First, pulling up the bloodstained carpet. Then, removing the bloody poster. Oh, I got something uh, wrong. Give me a second. I got it. I think we got the same thing wrong. What is it then, if it's not that? Oh, I think... Um... The dumbbell. I think it's the dumbbell. The bloody dumbbell. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, I think you're right about that. Yeah, I think it is. And I realise I think I may have left a bit off. Yeah, mine's working again. Right. Oh wait, I no, it's not the dumbbell. Isn't it? No, hang on. What is it then? What is it? Oh. Is it opening the door? I or is it the poster? I think it's the red door. No, I think it's the other poster part, personally. Because okay. they've got it taking down, then putting it up. I think it's both I think it's the both poster parts. Yeah? Yeah. You don't get what I mean, do you? I think I, 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 think I do. I don't know if we're on the same, but I'm ready to be in that. Okay, let's go anyway. Here's exactly what happened. Okay. Don't it carries on from where Which we left why off. The killer hurried to try yeah. And hide the act. So I'm, I'm at the bloody poster the bit. Uh, oh, yeah, it's wrong same. again. Removing the bloody poster. Oh. So removing the bloody poster. Let's try the door. I got it right. It was the door. Oh, okay, and fair enough. Alright, do you the want me to wait for you? No, no, just keep... Oh, no, it's not the door, Jones. It is. Hang on. It's not. <laughs> what bit you on? The bit, um, the Act 3 page, where he takes the poster down. Yeah, it is the door. Wait, what door? The red door. Just the red door. Okay, hang on. What, the red door that says the girls' room? Yeah. Okay. Right, and then... Yeah, sorry, hang on. This is Oh, thanks for the, um, morning, by the way. No, you're welcome. Really I got a bit annoyed that people kind of spoiled it for you. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I think I've got it right. Yeah, it is the red door. Found that person, not gonna lie. But, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's fine, I'll set it up next time. Alright. Um Right, so you, you good to carry on? Yeah, I'm up I'm a bit ahead I think. I'm at with the carpet and the poster. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay, let's go then. Yeah, ready? Go. Steady? Go. go. But this alone doesn't prove that the killer was necessarily a girl. After all, Sayaka and Junko's handbooks have been placed in the main hall. Using one of those, a boy could get into the girl's locker room without much problem. And that's exactly how the killer did it. 
getting it right. With the carpet Special and the poster track. they brought with them, yeah. they got to work. They changed the layout of the boys and girls locker room in what you might call a crime scene switch. That could have been the end of things, but no. Oh no, I missed that up. Decided to what? intervene in the uh, situation, he... making things even more complicated. The Archeo, um, goes to pull out the... Well, I thought it, it looked like the Archeo pulling out the wire, but it was the door turning. Oh, hang on, I might have got it wrong as well. Yeah, I've got the... Yeah, hang on, I've got it wrong as well. Give me a second. That's right. Good to know we're on the same track. What is it? Is, the door, is it the door opening in, at the Act 5 page? Well, I'm on Act 4 is why I got it wrong. Okay, I got it on Act 5. Um, um, what have you got? I got the sauna. Act, act, the Act 4? Yeah. Wait, I'm... Act 5, I got the sauna. Sorry. Act 5, the sauna on the first one, yeah? Yeah. And then, what's the last panel? The broken handbook on the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm ready. Let's go. Right, Here's go. exactly what happened. Oh, oh. I'm really done, don't worry, Jones. Yakuya right. no. discovered the body and decided to intervene in the situation, making things even more complicated. So, after stumbling on the crime scene, he went and grabbed the extension yeah, we did it. from the library, and then he got to work. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. He used the cord to string up Chihiro's Sadly. body. Sadly. I'm not done the comic, by the way. Alright, uh, my comic's just finished. Then, All right, I'll, I'll wait for I'm you. Done. Oh he boy. left a grisly message there at the scene of the crime. It's quite the scene. It's quite he the bit of um... the illusion that genocide Jack was responsible for the slaughter. Let me know when it says complete. Yes. And it gets to Mondo saying "Kick Kiha." And around yeah. the same time that the oh, we got to do the rhythm game still. <laughs> yeah. The killer. Let me know where you're at, Jones. Chihiro's bag yeah. and other belongings arrived Please. at the scene. Please. Sorry. There, Where are, what are you at? I'm still on the comic. Okay, let me know when you get to Mondo saying Kia. I will. And just as the killer expected, the steamy sauna was enough to ruin the electronic gadget. Right. Somehow, the killer knew that the handbook couldn't stand up to the heat of the sauna. The reason they knew that is because the sauna had already wrecked their own handbook. <laughs> and that's how it all played out. Well done, Makoto. You did it again. <laughs> oh, this right, fucking Mondo sucks, though. Yeah. Wait. No. This can't be right. There's oh, I'm a bit ahead, sorry. Yeah. Oh, Jones! That's alright, I'm up to... Where are you? Saying, where's your evidence? Yeah, where's your evidence? Okay, I'm there now, ready? Alright, ready. Let's you go. Evidence. You need proof! Without any proof, you can't pin any of this on him! Evidence that Mondo was the killer that already revealed itself earlier in the trial? I can somehow show where Mondo's handbook is right now. That everything will become clear. A new element has Eight been added. Oh boy, absolutely. Talk about our fever time and nega time. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because I know what I'm doing. All right, during the bullet time battle, you you press the RB button. Fever time will activate and the tempo will be forced to its max. At this point, even if you push buttons at random, you won't miss. You can push A A A Y A Y. Whatever you want to destroy the phone and verbal assault. It only lasts until your focus gauge runs out, so make the best use of it possible. Of course, if you. It won't be fair if you only got to access the special time, right? 
So it also prepares something called Negaton that your opponent can use. The opponent activates Negaton during a good battle time. Tempo marker will disappear, making it quite a bit tough to hit the bonds and rhythm. If you were to activate Reaper Time at this point, no, never mind. I'm sure nothing like that would happen. Shit. I don't know why I was so worried about. Surprisingly, if your action is difficult, you sit to gentle, your opponent won't use Negaton. Time. Well then, good luck and have fun! Right, let's go. Show me some evidence. I died. I have to start again. Hang on. I've just started. I refute you. Okay, cool. Boss. Show me some evidence. I won't listen. Boss. I refuse to vote. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refute you! False! Show me some evidence! Ah! It's working! False. You're corrupt! Final strike! Show me some evidence! This should prove it! Okay. I did it. First oh try. no, I haven't done it. First try. Thinking so far is right. Right, I'm waiting for you to catch up. Yeah, you're gonna wait a minute because I'm struggling. Hang on. I've got him. I've got him. Fucking yeah. Nice. Nice. Alright. Sorry, on... Parker. Are you on Makoto saying if my thinking so far is right? Yeah, let's I'm letting it keep going, yeah. Mondo go. must have replaced his broken handbook with Leon's. In which case, we can just check each of our handbooks right now. Once we do that, we'll We don't gotta do that. Mm. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I did it. I killed him. Fuck. Mondo. I got an A. I got an A as well. Good job, <laughs> And some coins. Ooh. Nice. Okay. I'm going on Bro. from... What are you yeah. saying? I got no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just give up. Go ahead, Monokuma. Get it over with. Ask for the goddamn verdict. Roger that. Wait, hold on. No waiting, no holding on. Time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Grab your lever and give it a yank. Who will you elect as the blackened this time around? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Yeah, I oh, know choice. That made me sad. <laughs> I know you really liked him. I did. I genuinely did. Fucking sucks. What? We gotta do acting now. Oh. Uh oh, it looks like you got it right again. Yes, it is so. Yes, it is so. The black and that killed your hero, Yugi Saki, was Mondo Awada. Unbelievable. In case you're wondering, the vote was not unanimous. Kiyotaka chose the wrong answer. You're treading very closely to the danger zone, Mr. Ish Ishimara. Ishimuru. Ishimaru. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. I, I refuse to believe it. There's, there's no way. No way he would kill someone. Sorry. Was he... 
Sorry. Why are you apologizing? What? Why? 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 Why did you do it? Now then. Well, it looks like Mondo's taken a vow of silence, so please allow me to explain on his behalf. Actually, the story of this murder this time is the sad story of two men. <laughs> Oh, but for anyone who doesn't want to hear it, you can hit the B button to fast forward. <laughs> no, I'm... Anyway, there once was a young boy, and his name was Chihiro Fugisaki. I, 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 well, I guess I'll just read the text how it is. Okay. He had an extremely inferior. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, if. Yeah, yeah. Be I'll read so I'm not going to do his voice, I'll just read it as if we're reading a story. Yeah. Okay. He had an extreme inferiority complex regarding his own lack of strength. You're so weak, even though you're a boy. He'd heard things like that as long as he could remember, and he couldn't overcome his weakness. On the contrary, he tried to hide and buried himself further and further into that weakness. To take the fragile form of a petite young girl. He had to choose that as his way out. Um, um, uh, now nobody will be able to say anything, even though you're a boy. But no matter how tightly he wrapped himself up in that shell, the inferiority complex had already taken, taken root deep inside of him and was not so easily weeded out. As it turned out, the shell was completely empty. The complex didn't disappear, instead it only grew stronger and stronger. I, I'm I'm weak. Weak, 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 weak. What they said. Once the killing game had begun here at the school, he had no choice but to accept this fact. After all, this world is a survival of the fittest. If you're not strong, you don't survive. And the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced that revealing the revealing of the embarrassing secrets, which of course included Chihiro's embarrassing secret, which I was more than willing to divulge. Even though he dresses like a girl, Chihiro is actually a boy. Hey, um. Now you can take him over now again if you want. I think that's it over. And that was something Chihiro couldn't let anyone find out, no matter the cost. If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack, the armor would fall away. Father Dao, those around him would torture him more than ever before. Everyone figured being thrust into such a dilemma must have sent him spiraling deep in, into despair. And yet... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I could talk about it later. And after I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. Annoyingly, he used the f they used the threat of discovery to motivate themselves to become stronger. That's right. Now's my chance. I want to change. I'm going to get stronger and accept who I am. Strong enough so that when someone says, even though you're a boy, I'll be okay. I'll get better. And with that at the front of their mind, they resolve to take immediate action. And so, that day, they made the commitment to begin exercising. They was prepared to re retrain their mind and body but sadly that would be their first and only chance they would get at it hey um when they decided to start exercising they thought it would be good to ask someone for help but they wanted to tell that person their secret first and then ask them to help them from there the person they went to yeah that's right it was me <laughs> yep it sure was. <laughs> the biker gang further had been painfully clear about how important his manly promise were. 
So Jahiro probably figured out that even if he, if they can find him Mondo, their honor would make them keep the secret. Uh huh. Plus, Mr. Macho Mondo was the very symbol of a strong man that your hero has always aspired to be. Maybe talking to Mondo about it will help give me some courage. So. Oh, oh wait. I, don't, I, I think that should be Monokuma, you yeah. say that. So they went and asked Mondo to help them become strong. <laughs> That was their aspiration. And they thought that only with Mondo's support they would be able to come close to that. Correct. So then, that must be why Mondo did what he did. To keep the promise he'd made to Jihiro. Huh? What did he do? You mean, that's why Mondo carried Jihiro from from the boys' locker room into the girls' locker room? Indeed. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Um... Wasn't that to cover up what he'd done? Certainly. That could have been part of it, but I don't think it was the main reason. The real purpose was to keep the promise between men he'd made to Chihiro. But... But how does moving the body keep his secret? Because... Because if everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, then everyone would have been arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room, right? Once that started up, at least a few of us would have immediately begun to suspect their identity, so... Try to protect your hero's secret by putting them in the girls' locker room and stealing the handbook, see? Then Mano did all that to keep the promise he made to Chihiro, who he'd also killed? <laughs> Why? Why would he do that? The more I hear you talk, the more I don't understand. I mean, you guys trusted each other, right? So why? Why did you... Because, no matter what, what, I didn't want anyone to know. I knew it. So that's what triggered it, after all. Possibility of having your embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. What, what is this? That's impossible. Nothing could have been that bad. Something you didn't want anyone to know, even if it meant killing someone. You're wrong. It's impossible. Don't make me repeat myself. How many times must I repeat myself? Judge others by your own standards is the height of folly. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously, he obviously can. That's all there is to it. <laughs> well, while we're on the subject, why don't I tell you that embarrassing memory, that secret he didn't want anyone to know. Hey, um... You know what Mondo did? He killed his own brother. <laughs> Mondo, the ultimate biker gang leader, makes all the hoodlums and riffraff across the country tremble. But the only reason he had a chance to join the gang in the first place was because of a certain someone. <laughs> Mondo's older brother was D Daya Owada. Mondo yeah, I think that's right. Nothing but respect for him. It was because of Daya that Mondo ever got on a motorcycle. Mondo's brother was his only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. He wanted to measure up to his big brother, so he imitated him in everything he did. Mondo was the epitome of the starry-eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, his charismatic older brother had put together a tough motorcycle gang. Before anyone knew it, he had grown into the biggest biker gang in the country. Dyer, the older brother, number one in the gang, and his number two, his younger brother Mondo. In the beginning, everything was peaches and gravy. But when Mondo started to think about how he would have to take over the gang from his brother someday, his brother's greatness, his reputation, began to gone on Mondo's very soul. The kid's gonna take- I'll do it. I'll, oh. I'll, okay, I'll do it if you want. Yeah. The kid's gonna take over from Dyer, huh? 
that had created this gang with his bare hands, Mondo was just along for the ride. Can someone like that really be our leader? All that I'll do is make the gang look bad. Almost every day, Mondo heard the gossip, gossip and the whispers of other members of the gang. Which is why... I... I just... I... I gotta get stronger. Stronger than dire. Once. Just one time. No matter what, I gotta win. Don't fuck with me. I don't care what it takes. I gotta come out on top. And on, the, and on the night his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo challenged him to a street race. But during the race, tragedy struck. The kid brother pushed ahead with reckless abandon, eating off a victory, and dashed into oncoming traffic. But suddenly... Rain in his kid brother's arms, the older brother discovered his final words. M My bad, kid. I fucked up. Sorry. Of course, he knew it was his brother's fault, but Dyer never blamed him for what happened. Hey, kid. The rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep the gang together. This is the team. You and me. Put together. It's her. I promise between men. <laughs> this is making me sad, man. <laughs> this, this is good to me. He decided to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the game. In order to keep the game together, he kept the promise to his brother. He could never admit to anyone that it was his own weakness that caused the accident. And as a result, the team was made even stronger under the ban of the kid who bested his big brother. Daria was gonna lose to his kid brother, so he got stupid and killed himself. That became the basic explanation for what happened. Mondo's lie became the truth. He wanted the team ups to lead the team so bad he was willing to tell all the kids of all kinds of lies about his big his brother. I I just I'm strong. <clears throat> strong. Strong 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 and yet <laughs> As soon as our killing game began he realized No matter how tough he pretended to be, he was another weakling that could die in an instant. <laughs> And then the lovely, hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secret. At that point, it was clear I would have no problem shedding light on his secret. Mondo killed his own bro older brother. No, no, no matter what, I couldn't let the other gang members find out. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother had worked to create would have been destroyed. His death, or the guilt I've been carrying around, it would have been for nothing. So that's why. I. That's why I. I. I Mondo. <clears throat> After what I saw Monokuma had on me, my head filled up with all kinds of fuzzy uneasiness. I just, I, I just started swirling around. I never felt anything like it before. I. I, I just. I didn't know. I didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure what to think or say, but after a while, that fuzzy uneasiness <laughs> turned into a rock of heart of rock hard lump of anxiety way down in my stomach. And it was right around then that your hero asked me to start working out with them. And right there, I they told me a secret. <laughs> Seriously? Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I I'm sorry I lied to you. Yeah. But why? Why now? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Huh? Um... Because, I mean, you kept a secret all this time, right? If anyone found out, you... you would... Matt? Y you're right, but... 
I want to change. What they said. <laughs> I wrap myself in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. There was like a knife in my gut. I felt like it was exposing the lie I've been living myself. I have to. Oh. That's, oh. I have to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. You're so strong. It can't hurt you, right? Whatever secret Monokuma might tell us. You piece of... So what? You're saying I should just say it? What? You're saying what? if I really am, I should be able to tell everyone my secret? Huh? Uh... I was jealous. I was jealous of Chihiro's strength. They had the strength to face their own weakness, try and overcome it. It was the kind of strength I've never had. So I was jealous of them. That jealousy broke me. What? Are you making what? fun of me? I'm strong. Are you fucking with me right now? No. Uh, I'm not making fun of you. You really are strong, Wondo. I felt like I could hear something starting to creak. Something inside my head. What did they want me to do? What was I supposed to do? What, I was supposed to just sit back and let my secret get revealed and ruin everything? What's wrong? What they said. Damn Why did you have to tell me all that? Are you trying to rub my finger in my face? I, I just wanted to... No, no, I just, I just really admire you. I admire your strength. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I am strong. Strong. I'm strong! Strong, strong, strong! Stronger than you! You son of a I'm bitch! Stronger than Dyer! I don't remember anything after that. When I woke up again, he was he was laying at my feet, covered in blood. I had a dumbbell in my hand and I was just staring at them down on the ground. Uh, hey! I... I killed, killed him. I killed Chihiro. I killed Chihiro. Even after all this time, I'm still just as weak as I've always been. Yeah. And thanks to that, I did something I can never take back. Mondo... He was normally so aggressive, so angry. He hid that weak side away from everyone. That was his secret. A weakness like that lived in a heart like his, and it turned him cold-blooded. God damn it! <laughs> well, he said, Look at him! You see? You're all just like him! For a secret from the past, from a memory, <laughs> for that he killed another living human in cold blood. Hmm. He can even cut free of his regret from the outside world. He doesn't know what true strength is. Do you see hope anywhere in there? Because I sure don't. <laughs> You, you bastard. Just shut up, you son of a bitch. Go ahead, say that again. I dare you. Yep. Okay, I'll say as many times as I want. It's what I want to say, but... <laughs> unfortunately, I can't do that right now, because the time for punishing is fast approaching. P punishing It can't be. You mean, execution? Well, now, well, now, well, now, well, Well, that's now, what well, I promise now. you, right? The blacken that disturbs the peace will be punished! Ridiculous! Uh, oh, hold on. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For Mondo Awada, the ultimate biker gang leader! No, no, wait, wait! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! I said wait! Sorry, man. I couldn't keep the promise we made from one man oh, to another. Fucking that stings. This. Fuck. This is gonna be a bit pretty fucked. Yeah.
Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah. What? You fucking turn them yeah. into butter? Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fuck me. Alright, let's get this last bit done. We're nearly done. Let's get this last bit done and then we'll do final thoughts on this part. Laugh at this and your soul will forever be at peace. It can't be. My brother. Another this is murder. making me feel quite heavy in the chest, man. Another oh. execution. I wanted to feel again. Everyone lies are so lightly, are taken so lightly here. I feel like I might be going mad. Maybe I'll just let it happen. What he said. What he said again, sorry. Yeah, man, same, don't worry. It's tough to start screaming, baby, our skulls. We were each forced to realize once again that he, of course, had to. <laughs> what a disappointment. Is this the end of the game? B Biakia? What is this? You're completely insane, you know that? The game? One of our friends is dead. Do you realize that? Naturally. Of course I do. Because this game is life or death. Hey. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have a response. Except that... However... I just don't understand why. Why did you go out of your way to disguise Mondo's crime? What? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because it made things more interesting. I'm um, just putting a note in here. Yeah. I wanted to say earlier, but I couldn't find the right time. Biarchia, uh, and then a character from the second game, and then a character from the third game literally exists to fuck things up just because okay wow. they're known as in the fandom they're known as the antags and those three characters literally exist to fuck shit up yeah. <laughs> like mean, the he's right their ca case more complex. yeah their catchphrase is basically like uh i'm here to make things more difficult on purpose you know he so and that, literally anything that happens I mean, I guess, I'm, well, we'll get through this and then we'll say thoughts afterwards. Okay, cool. Isn't it obvious? Because it made things more interesting. His voice was calm, emotionless, but the voice of death chilled me to the bone. <laughs> Last night, when the murder took place, I was in the library as usual. Honestly. So you ignored the nighttime rule too? <laughs> That rule never matters to me. I don't recall agreeing to it. There is nothing to be done. Well, I don't particularly care, but please continue. The night grew late. I decided to return to my room, which is when I stumbled upon them. I spotted Mondo coming out of the girls' locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. What, you mean you actually witnessed the murder? He was such a fool. He didn't leave, have the slightest idea that I'd seen him. Well... Wait, you're saying you knew who the culprit was from the very beginning? That's right. Indeed. But if that had been the end of it, how boring would that have been? I think he's calling bullshit there, by the way. What do you mean? Because he seemed really surprised at the idea that it was someone else that wasn't Toko. Oh, I see. Yeah. I mean, what a waste of time to have the answer revealed right at the beginning. Which is why I decided to lend a little helping hand. I thought it would liven things up. You did all that to liven things up? I see. So after hearing about the murderous... Uh, uh, so after hearing about murderous Jack and Toko, you decided to use that to create a fake murder scene? But damn, man, if we hadn't figured out who'd really done it, you would have been dead too, right? <laughs> well, obviously I would have revealed the truth before it reached that point. Of course. Yep, Yakia turned and looked at me in the eye. I could feel sharp eyes piercing into me. 
Thanks to a certain remarkable someone, it never did. And I was able to perform an interesting experiment. Hmm. Once interesting. I do decide to become blackened, I now know who I'll have to watch out for. What? Correct. So that was your reason. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Indeed. Yes. We're done listening to your story. Moving on. Hey. There's something I'd like to ask Monokuma. What's this? Oh, I'm up next. You. You like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? My question is, why? <laughs> Ooh, do you like them? But you know, this punishment is despair. It's not just for you. <laughs> all this punishment, all this despair is my gift to mankind itself. What? This track that's playing right now is my favourite anger for track. Oh yeah, this is... this is jamming. I am not over-exaggerating. These punishments are meant to transform all hope to despair. Damn. What do you mean? 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 Mean. What the hell? Mean, 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 mean. I don't understand why you have to pick apart every little stupid thing! Hmm, whatever. It doesn't matter. In the end, I'm going to stand alone as the victor. Then everything will be revealed to me. Ooh, how ah, exciting. the noble son of a noble family. Truly, you understand me. <laughs> I think this is the start of the terrifying friendship. That's enough. Shut up. I would never stoop to the level of a childish criminal like you. Let me just say this. After I've achieved complete victory, you're up next. I'm going to find you and kill you. Understand? In the name of my family. In the name of the Tagami family, for which victory is a foregone conclusion. You're getting all riled up! So cool! It's like you're the main character of a video game or something. No trash mob for you! I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you. <laughs> Ooh, temper, temper. Sounds like somebody needs a nap. <laughs> I mean, I sure do. <laughs> what he says. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. When I come to nap, peeled across the cold room, and the color closed on the case of Jihiro and Mondo. But I knew that wasn't the end. The killing game would still continue because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. For those of us who were still alive, our worst fear and despair kept on multiplying. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in hell <laughs> had more of a future than us. And all our courage, our efforts, our friendship felt like it amounted to nothing at all. It was the worst kind of despair. Well, anyway, oh, they spit and then we'll stop. Okay. Well, anyway, like I was saying, this is a pretty good spot. I think it's acted. Yeah, a yeah. really good spot. Oh, anyway, isn't it amazing how that girl went and killed someone before things even had a chance to get boring? Once things really get moving, it'll be like a roller coaster. There won't be any stopping it. Fear and despair charge forward at a speed nothing can hope to match. But I must admit, I'm disappointed. I went to all the pain and effort of making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. You do remember you were supposed to make the first move, right? Okay. Well, no biggie. Nothing we can do about it now. So just do your best to make things more exciting from now on, okay? After all, that's what everyone wants to see. Uh, shall I do this for? I'll, I'll do it. I'll do okay, it. Okay, you do it. There's one thing. I, there's uh, there's one thing I'd like to ask you. As long as you don't want to know my measurements, fire away. Who is it? The 16th high school student, I mean. Oh, my, my. You really took me by surprise there. I know I said you could ask anything, but... Super denied, old 
ultra denied, demonic denied. Because you see, that's my ace in the hole. And nobody be dumb enough to reveal that, right? No matter how close they were to their friends. <laughs> Oh. Okay. The plot is thickening. So we've got a plant in the midst. We've got a plant. And now we're down to 10 students. It's going to take you to a save page in a second and we'll leave it there. Yeah, to be continued. You received crazy, the crazy diamond present. Do you want to save the save the data? Yes. Yeah. Let's not go forward after it goes to the question mark. Let's literally just leave it there because it that, that, that's the start of the next chapter. Oh boy, and I, I cannot wait for that. Um, right, get me out of. Take me to the main menu, please. Jesus, that was a. F <laughs> this is a fucking long stream. How long have we been going? Um, ooh. Uh, f n n f over four and a half hours? Seriously? Holy shit. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought this would be nice and tidy, but. Mm. I guess not. I guess not. So, uh, thoughts then? Man. I didn't think it'd be Mondo. I, uh, he was one of my least sus, but I guess favoritism is gonna be blind, you know. Uh, <laughs> next thing I know, I'm always gonna be fucking murdering now. <laughs> oh dear. But no, I the ending's got me particularly excited though. Um. We've we've got a plant and a sixteen student. I know. I I didn't think things would be um getting more um exciting than that, but oh boy, hey, that's pretty exciting, eh? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, Lord, I'm tired though. I think I can give better thoughts by next week though. But yeah, no, I, I'm really tired. I'm gonna go pass out. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, what time are we coming back next week for this? Uh, let me check my schedule. I'm very busy, you see. Of course, of course, of course. Let me I'll... check my schedule. Well, while you check that, I will also say I'm probably going to be back tomorrow, despite how long it is. <laughs> um, maybe I was going to do it more afternoon-ish, but it might be a bit later. But I'm going to be starting Metroid Prime, so... Nice. Something a bit more chill and that, and very excited to get on with playing that. Uh, oh, I didn't notice um, I, IXX Clouds had followed three hours ago. I didn't get the notification for that. Nice. Oh, that's very nice. Sorry. I... Oh. Uh, so, next week. It'll have to be Tuesday again, if that's okay. Tuesday again? No problem. Because I'm working Thursday next week. Yeah, no, we'll do it Tuesday. We'll do it on time. I think we should try and find a... I feel like these have been longer than they should be. Um, yeah. I don't know how we're going to best try and cut these. I don't know. Maybe, you know, I'll, This is probably a conversation for me and Biz to have off air about. What we do to make sure we cut these down and keep the energy going, because that that's wiped me out. Yeah, same. But um, hey, but yeah, Metroid Prime tomorrow, Minecraft. Sunday. I might be streaming tomorrow afternoonish, but when I say afternoonish, I mean like between somewhere around one p.m. Oh, not be, in the evenings. That'd be cool. I just want to finish off that drawing I started the other day. Go tune in for that. I'm sure I'll be hanging about in the chat there somewhere. <laughs> uh, nice. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, Biz, plug yourself. Um, 
I mean, I always do, but bizarrely are on literally everything. B I double Z A R L E Y. Um, Instagram, Twitter, soon to be YouTube, Tumblr, um, obviously Twitch. I do a lot of art stuff on here when I'm not at work, which is not a lot. So yeah, come check me out. I've been making really great progress with my art. I actually feel like a competent artist. So um, yeah, come check me out and uh, <laughs> commission me. It's, I have really, ch it's... really good cheap commission uh, rates that are really affordable. So if you need anything commissioned for like YouTube or Twitch wise, uh, I'm your guy. Hit me up. Nice. Do that. Do that. You see this? Com <laughs> you see this title card? They did that. So what the fuck are you waiting for? Um. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, my commission info is uh bizarrely dot card co. So yeah. Nice, nice. And um, you can. And as for me, my all my about stuff is all my social info is in the about section. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow for Metroid Prime, and I'll also be on Saturday for Minecraft, and then we'll be back here again next Tuesday for more Dangan Rumpa. Let's uh, so let's uh, Bye. go. I love you. Bye. Love you all. Bye. Bye.